Hi. Hi. Morning, everybody. Morning. Good morning. <laughs> okay, here. So, okay. Ah, yeah. Because of the. Okay, good. Later, I'll wait. I don't need to Okay, can I? Can I? I will also see you all there. Uh, so you understand yesterday's teaching? <laughs> don't say yes if no. Then you in the end you lucky don't know. Huh? Okay. Uh, okay. Share, share what you got. Okay. Right. Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> you must know why, right? Oh. Well, of course, every day we are comment a lot of things in negative things, right? It's not how you will do it. A lot of negative things in your mind, so we need to know of God. It's not only negative, right? Sometimes positive also. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not about positive or negative. What is it about? Can I share? Yes, yes, yes. Can, can. <laughs> for, for yesterday uh, lesson, I, I get it is a um Holy Spirit is um it can, uh, cannot see like air and wind, but we must need it and we can feel it. And Holy Spirit is uh is like it is we can see the spirit world is considered like in God words. They are like full of spirit, spirit and life. Uh, starting I, I feel this. Then after that, I got it is. Uh, when we listen more from uh, the uh, listen the um the God words from Bible and reading more, then we can understand. Of course, like last week, we learned the belief. Uh, we need hearing, belief, declare, action, faith. Then as uh, experience of the um miracle. Then, but I can surely understand is when we. Uh, keep hearing, reading the God words, we can more understand, then after that we can sharing and explain more to others. Mm. This is a... Uh, uh, yeah, and, and anything else? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, what you got is uh, very, very um, it, I would say sharp, because we are spirit being. Okay, you must get that first. <laughs> if not, it will be about another trying to put positive thought in your mind, you know, positive thinking and all that. No, you must understand that you are spirit being and spirit, soul and body. Okay, so the body eat physical food, the mind eat all the belief system from the world or from when we grow up. All right understand okay but the spirit we have a spirit inside okay why we meditate and confess god's word read the bible it's because that is the spirit food jesus said my words are spirit and are life so if we don't see this we are thinking again another way of uh, helping us to be more positive more successful it's not another way <laughs> it is the only way which is to build your, to feed your spirit man. Uh, now that, you see, can you remember, uh, can you see a lot of Christians all over the world? Yeah, they become, they receive a lot of fine. But they don't feed their spirit man. Because they use the normal way of going to school, learning the things, you know, and just feed their brain. And then physical food, exercise, whatever. Nothing wrong for the physical body. Right? So when Jesus said, my words are spirit and alive. It is meant for the spirit man to grow. And there's a way, and only his words are spirit and life. That means only his words. He said, everything else profit nothing. 
Like, it doesn't mean profit nothing for the body. So exercise does help the body, you know, eating food does. Otherwise, you all no need to eat food already, but also need to select, right? What? Huh? Yes. So if you don't have God's word, his word, inside of who he is and who we are from his word, not just from anywhere. Okay? So we will not, it will not profit our spirit. So a, a, a believer or a Christian can be many, many years, right? but never really know how to build this great man. That's what I shared to you. Uh, you must distinguish that what is spiritual realm and what is spiritual yeah, realm. Correct. So far, we are always using the system. Because we are seeing things, we are hearing things. Yes. And when we are more focused on here, we pick the spirit realm. So now we are to go inside the spirit lab to bring the spirit lab up to overpower the cool. lab so that you can live yes yeah, so that you can live in the spirit all right live as jesus lived because jesus have a physical body too right he has a mind but he has god's word and his spiritual eyes are all activated on he can see what god doing you know all that so for us who've been living many years in this world we've been depending on our five senses on the, uh, the, the, the soul, that the mind that is not in God's word, right? So, overrule everything from so the spirit. Yeah. <laughs> ah, but how to get the spiritual eyes to open? Yes, also before we come to the word, ask the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit is the one who can, who knows the truth and reveal and open eyes. Okay, so many uh, believers who also have a lot of word knowledge, but don't believe in Holy Spirit or don't acknowledge, not, not just present, have not present to the Holy Spirit. I don't realize that there is this person called the Holy Spirit. What is he here to do? Why did Jesus go up and send him, send the Holy Spirit? Is it just to make us born again? We're already born again, ready. So the Holy Spirit has a certain purpose. All right, he's called the Spirit of truth. Yeah. So we cannot learn the Bible or God's word same the way we learn our mathematics, geography, history, or business. Okay, we learn it. This is revelation truth, spirit truth. Okay, only the spirit of eyes opened by the Holy Spirit now can understand. Okay, so the way to get God's word in is very different from the way we study from this world. Understand? So the first thing you need to understand and catch is again and again that you are a spirit being and the only way to feed your spirit being and make it strong is eating God's words. Same as the only way we, Marianne is so big now. <laughs> yeah, it's because your daddy mommy gave you food, right? To eat. Imagine they starve you. You didn't eat. You would be still very small, skitty, you know, very weak, correct? So that is the way you feed your physical man. Still spiritual man, that's why this pastor who even went to a PhD, got Bible school, everything, is a head knowledge of the word. But until God gave him specially, because his calling was there, so to have a vision or a dream of his spirit man condition, then he realized how to grow the spirit man. So you must understand this. You must catch this. Okay? Otherwise, you will still continue. Hey, hi, hi. Oh, hey, hi, Madeline. <laughs> Welcome. Hey. Have a seat, sir. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> Good. Good to see you. Praise the Lord. Uh, hi, hey, Evelyn, Adeline. You are the chauffeur, eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, praise the Lord. Okay, before we, uh, we have some time, before we go into today's work, right? So we just go through a little bit of uh, yesterday, right? Because in that second miracle, and also in the parable of the sower and seed, 
All right, Jesus said very clearly, this parable, you know, the gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, right? Some of the uh, event, the things that happened, only one of the gospel had. But in this parable, all the disciples also recorded it, okay? And they have some that a bit more detailed. The other one, you know, they saw from different angles. Okay, so we're not going to share exactly uh, how Matthew, Mark, you know, they see. But mainly is that see the importance of this parable in relation to our life of our spiritual life. Okay, feeding our spirit life. Okay, our met our spiritual our spirit being or spirit man, because it's Jesus told the disciples at that time, which I didn't bring up, but I posted it. If you cannot understand this parable, <laughs> you won't be able to understand any other parable. Okay, which is the parable of the sower and the seed. So it says the seed is the word of God. Okay. In this particular uh, parable that Jesus is talking. And then the soil is the hearts of all the people. Okay, so as the word of God come, it's been sown right now. I saw the seed sharing the word of God. There are different, different soil here. So the different type of soil you have, the path, yeah, the foot path one, then you have Rocky one. Then you have oh. huh? oh. ah good. And then ah. <laughs> okay. all right. <laughs> yes, amen. All good soil. Okay? That's why I'm doing plowing the soil. Okay, to make it good soft soil. Soft ah, soft get rid of the thorns. Yeah, so the word can go in. So the soil is the heart. Okay, of man, which is what is the hidden man of the heart inside. It's your spirit man, okay? And uh, in the earlier uh, session, one of the foundation I teach about the heart because there are four things. Spirit, soul, and body, everyone is clear. But there's a heart also, okay? So in that teaching, I, I shared when you have a new spirit and a new heart, there are two different things, okay? So this heart is connected also to your, either the old spirit, not born again one, or the new spirit. And from this heart, you be also it's a bit connected. It's also part of it. It's also connected to the soul area where the heart can think. So if the heart is not born again, it's not fed with the word of God, which is the spirit food for the spirit man, then the thinking will go <laughs> up, huh? up, up. up ah, from the uh, world thinking, okay, without even knowing. All right. So that's why this, this heart, okay, is the soil, okay, for especially born again children of God. Okay, so it's a combination of the spirit man born again now because thinking is on the mind, it's the soul area. Okay, but once your spirit man is born again, right, this is joined together with the thinking, okay, and if it's built properly with God's word, it will think in line with God's word. All right, okay. So just now I was saying some of you missed is that uh, the first thing you need to get okay, from this parable and also from yesterday's uh, teaching is that you are spirit being now. Okay, You're spirit being. Why we need to meditate, why we need God's food, God's word. Okay, because you are spirit, soul and body. Okay, anyone remember? A spirit, soul, and body. Are this physical body that is governed by five senses that you grow by eating physical food? Wow, you see? Yeah, she knows more. <laughs> That's why the parable says, Jesus said that when we hear God's word, <laughs> what happened? If we are a certain particular kind of soil, you get excited. Wow, oh, I heard spirit soil body. And then we continue to eat after that within I don't know how many hours. The bird, the bird eat away. Ah, the bird come and eat already. You know, the bird come and eat already. So, ah, ah, good. Yeah. 
good. And then if you listen properly, right? You listen properly. And then after that, if, if we are the footpath one, then we listen, very excited. It's like at the moment you got everything like that. <laughs> and then after what? What happened? You're the footpath. You're very busy already. Okay. Now, and then you do this, do that, and you stop meditating on this word. Okay. So it's like what? Ah, take it away. And also when you eat food, you need to eat. You do eat one time for the rest of the week. <laughs> well, then Adeline no need to cook every day, right? <laughs> because, oh, you just eat one meal only and then can last for one week, right? <laughs> ah, so there is also another aspect of the different types of food. Also, we need to choose and what is good for us. I know you eat nonsense food, right? Then they are not good for the body. They harm the body. We are taking in poison. So that's where, again, the spirit food, the word of God, we have to be very careful what are we listening to. So there is such thing as law and there's such thing as grace. All right? That's why I talk about rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay? So you, some are devil's word. <laughs> so you simply take, you know, and some are men's. If we don't read the Bible only, we just listen to what other people, what preachers say, whatever. We're not sure. Okay? They may be their opinion. Huh? Spirit, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, just now come back to right. What is a uh, spiritual body, right? Because she answered for you. I forgot to ask you already. <laughs> you, you are happy to have uh, Marianne there. She answered for everyone and saved everyone. Okay, but the main thing is not just to uh, to have knowledge, right? Hit knowledge, but to realize your spirit being and how this spirit being grows. Okay, otherwise, we can be 10 years Christian, 20 years Christian. And we don't know where the problem also. <laughs> but we go through a lot of problems. Okay? Don't even know where. I say, I'm Christian with you, but what is so difficult in this life? You know, so much ups and downs and, you know, uh, sick and all this. Thing. Is this what you want for me, God? You don't even know what's God's will. Okay? And the problem is not nothing except that we didn't know how to feed this spirit man. We don't realize that we are spirit being inside. The one that received Jesus Christ, the part of you that got born again is your spirit. And Jesus said very clearly, you know, you, the, the flesh profit nothing that is not for your, your spirit. Okay, so you don't eat uh, chicken rice to feed your spirit body. <laughs> you eat chicken rice to eat your physical, not, not spirit body, spirit man. Okay. So you eat chicken rice, you eat every day, your daddy cook so nice, Adelaide cook so nice, but it's just to, can only feed your physical body, okay? You go to school to study, or you hear from your mommy, daddy say from grandmother, everything, right? Ah, that's why it flow like we were living water, right? <laughs> 20 years, you already hear what your mommy say, lecture you, okay? You better, you know, da, 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 da. no blaming to anyone. This is how the world has become as a result of sin. Okay, if Adam didn't sin, this wouldn't have happened, but we cannot change already. But we have a new plan, all right, a new redemption where we can also still, because of Jesus, we can still live spirit root life on this earth just as he is. So are we. Okay, so it is now how to rule over the, we have a spirit man. To rule, to be the strongest party in your body. You've got three parties there. <laughs> I think Adeline got it the last time. Three voices inside you. Okay? Party what? Party right? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Which is like your soul, right? Uh, mainly your mind, party right? Yeah. Oh, what everybody thinks. <laughs> okay. And then your uh, independent party. <laughs> your, your own self, what? Right? Okay? okay. Right? So the eye, you know. All the, the law or all that you think is right, our own self-righteousness of what we have been thinking is right on this world. So we need what party? <laughs> yeah, Holy Spirit, right? God's word, okay, to build this spirit man. Okay, some of you got three inside, but three also we don't know. <laughs> Father, Son, Holy Spirit, who are them? You know, wait until we go heaven and see them. No, there's a purpose, each one of them. All right, the word Jesus came. So that now we can access our spiritual inheritance. Okay, then by because he took our sin, right? We give us then why he sent Holy Spirit? Huh? 
your guide also. Jesus said, the, when we talk about the Holy Spirit, was linked to the things that I do, you will do. And greater things than this, because I go to the Father. All right, so when you go to the Father, then he sent the Holy Spirit from God's throne. So very important. And he told the people, you cannot do anything, right, until you be endued with power from on high. So the Holy Spirit is our guide. He do many things. He's our guide. He's our teacher. He's the spirit of truth, all right? And he also will give us the power. Ah, everyone got same Holy Spirit, right? It's my, the Holy Spirit, me, different from yours one. <laughs> Holy Spirit from Apostle Paul, different from us one. <laughs> yeah, the same Holy Spirit, Jesus said, all right? Uh, Paul said that he's raised Jesus from the dead is with us, same inside us. It's just that we don't know him, right? Because we are clouded, okay? Be as in spirit and body, right? Our mind is clouded with all the thinking and belief of the world, okay? Which we do, pati rakyat and pati sendirian, okay? <laughs> I am my own teacher. <laughs> okay, right? That was all brought up by the, the lies of the devil, right? To keep us away from God. Because in this world, two only. God, Jesus is the only way. Eventually, all me will bow. And every time confess that Jesus is Lord. And it's coming to that, right? The 6,000 years is almost over already. Okay, everything that's prophesied in the Bible has already happened. That need to happen. Jesus came and Holy Spirit came. And then the apostles went out for the power of the Holy Spirit. The church was born. All right, the church is not a building. <laughs> that they, okay, a lot of people still ask, you know, is church a building? Christ church. Uh, when people come together, all right, we are the, the believers come together, we are the church, so it's not a building. So there are so many things that believers already saying it. <laughs> didn't see why that one that truth is very important the church is not a building okay because when we believe this half truth or actually it's not even half truth a complete lie okay because we don't know the truth right what will happen we will see Christianity as another religion wow clever already <laughs> and what is so dangerous about saying Christianity as a religion <laughs> Scream man, <laughs> alive already. <laughs> but become dormant, sleeping. Because religion, all right, doesn't have fellowship with God. Yeah, it's a set of beliefs. Okay, do this, don't do this, you will be a good person, you know, and blah, blah, blah. it's just following a set of beliefs. But Christianity in Christ is knowing Him. It's a fellowship with our wonderful saviour, some about three people we can get to know, right? God, our Father, each one different. God, the Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. They have different functions, but they are people. <laughs> More real than, you know, because the human being cannot be with you 24 hours. The Holy Spirit is there all the time. The Word of God, Jesus, it's up to you whether you are putting in or not. All right, or else we just know Jesus a little bit only. Okay, and we don't want to know about him, we want to know him. Okay, so here it's not uh, teaching you about someone, it's just like you want to know Evelyn Go, right? You don't ask Evelyn, tell me all about Evelyn Go. You say, I want to know you personally. You spend time with her, you go for lunch with her, you talk to her. You listen to her, you know what she likes, what she don't like, what is her will like, what she wants to be. Okay? But you don't go just ask about to the sister and say, hey, you know her. <laughs> just tell me about her. Lah. And after that, I also forgot, I don't remember already, forgotten. Okay? So here we are talking about a real person, Jesus, God. Eventually, right, we will leave this world, this body will have to die because no one can escape there. Right? Eventually, we have to stand before God. But thank God, we are not going to stand before the white throne judgment because we have been saved. We can now enter into the presence of God. But can you imagine if you don't know him personally, when you see him in heaven, it's like stranger. <laughs> I thought you are religion, huh? Jesus. You are Jesus. Huh? Who are you? Huh? But he gave us the privilege to know him now. Not only know him, 
also to serve him, right? To have the eternal reward. One day we go to heaven. Yeah, it's not only just a place of uh, physical rest, okay? Because we have new bodies, actually. The new bodies don't need physical rest already. <laughs> yeah, very strong one. Okay, it will never decay, never feel tired. So good, right? But the thing is, the relationship with Jesus, okay? Doing his will, right? This is all about why God uh, 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 bring up teachers and, uh, you know, five ministry to help the body, okay? Know him, all right? In the whole uh, word of God, Paul didn't say, okay, after receive Jesus, then just go to church. <laughs> actually, go to him, all right? But because the special ones are called, they have been given good gifts, all right? The fivefold are gifts, special gifts to be able to. Uh, go through, they go through a bit harder than the rest or so, right, in their life. But they learn the word, experience God, like, like uh, how God gave to this pastor, actually, his pastor Peter Tan, I don't know, they heard it many, many years ago in, in Malaysia, and to teach, okay, how to eat. Actually, in the apostles' time, the apostles were teaching them, right? In the book of Acts, when the church was formed, okay? So they have a uh, Paul teach a lot, okay, so that the, the, the knowledge, the revelation will be equipping the saints, all right, if everyone, because everyone can, every believer, Jesus addressed everyone, Holy Spirit is in everyone, okay, but there is a certain fivefold that has had the calling that God will use more on, in that aspect, right? but everyone supposed to uh, no, live this new life inside you. It's not trying to be a Christian or a good Christian, <laughs> even. Okay, so many things we don't know. Uh, we 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 didn't come into that fullness. Is because we don't know. Okay, so when we know first and foremost that the most important is how to grow. Okay, and realizing that we are. Going now, feeding spirit first. Not your physical body. It takes like so long for people to get it, right? <laughs> okay, but the, the thing is, never mind. Most important, and, you know, everyone can start. When you realize it, you can. It's not like uh, physical growth where you need go through kindergarten, go through uh, five years of uh, this one, then 10 years, right? The spirit man can grow very fast provided you eat correctly. Correct, yeah. So you can even be like just start and you can eat more and correct food. The spirit man will go stronger faster. Huh? Mary Ann, huh? <laughs> you want to go the spirit man stronger than the daddy one? <laughs> can right? That's why Jesus said you can do greater, greater than him. Because now what we have is even bigger. His, he was limited by his physical body on this earth, but his mission was not to, you know, spread the gospel to the whole world. His mission was to go to the cross. All right? So, but after the cross, it's for the work of the Holy Spirit now. In every believer whose soil is good soil, which is your heart, right? That is good heart. It's receiving spirit word. That's why I say, my words are spirit and life. It didn't say, your teacher's word in the school, your your boss word is spirit and life. But if we speak God's word, then we are speaking spirit and life. But how many times you speak God's word? <laughs> Very rare, right? Most of the time you speak opposite. Okay. <laughs> right? But when you begin to feel out of the your innermost being flow the river, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. So what are we feeling this heart? Is it with spirit words, which is God's word, that can bring life also to your own spirit and then to others? Or are we still speaking from uh, Pati Rakyat and Pati Sendirian? <laughs> it's not going to bring life to the spirit part. But we are here because we begin to realize that the Holy Spirit activated that desire and that revelation, that truth inside you, that I want to grow my spirit man. Ah. Because not many believers want to go that spirit man. That's why I also mahan. 
<laughs> eat food, okay, is it? Yeah, eat this one now. Uh. Mm. So there's no shortcut, you know, it's like, it's very simple, right? You listen to a sermon, how long can you retain it? I asked Catherine next day, she forgot everything I did. <laughs> Then, but before that, she would say, good, good, good. After listening, immediately, one minute after the sermon, she said, very good, very good. Any sermon. Okay, but I say, why is it? <laughs> <laughs> How fast the, the bird come and eat already taken. Okay, what was sown during the time of hearing? So that's why in the Old Testament and New Testament, same. All right, in Joshua, to go into the promised land, resembling all the promises that God had for us, God just told Moses to tell Joshua to tell the people one very simple thing. Adeline, what's that? <laughs> Joshua 1 verse. Ah, she saved you. After that, I give you the thumb. <laughs> Joshua 1 8. Okay, what? Is Joshua one <laughs> See, never meditate, but the time when I preach was well, sounds good, huh? sounds good, huh? Even hallelujah. Okay. But, but shall not depart from your mouth that I believe and meditate by this day and night, so that I may be careful to do everything accordance with all that you fitted to for then I will make my way prosperous and then I will. Ah, so next round, no more book. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no Bible, no book. Okay, I don't know whether you meditate or not from today until next Sunday. Uh, okay, because why? The word of God is very different from learning science geography. That one we just use our mental capacity, a memory. Word of God is your for your spirit. It's for your spirit. So the way what we you say. All right, told them, meditate on it. That time, of course, they only have the law, but still it's the word of God for success. Okay, how to get to kill all the Philistine when they go into the promised land? Oh, got a lot of problem there, no. <laughs> so we think that, wow, they got houses, you know, big houses they didn't build. Uh, what land of milk and honey? Yeah, the promises all that, but there are giants inside that. Even same today, right? Our inheritance is all everything, the peace, the joy, but how many times we let the devil rock that joy away, right? <laughs> when you feel down, depressed. Why you feel down, depressed? Okay, so same thing. He said, you need to meditate this one because the word meditate came from Joshua 1, 8. And you have it also in the New Testament. Smart Jewel teachers, I told you already. <laughs> 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 huh? Philippians 4 8. Of course, there are some others. Main one. What was Philippians 4 8 about? <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Cannot refer. Okay. <laughs> ah, yes. Say, fix your mind. What I think on these things. Meditate on these things. Okay. Okay, but, uh, bring all your prayer requests to God and whatever is true. What, what, so how do you know true or not? Because we don't even know which one is true. Because we didn't. The only truth is the word of God, right? Yeah, but we don't know the word of God. Then if we hear outside, I don't know what is true, what is lie. We just believe everything. So, in the Paul also say, meditate. Fix your mind. Fix your, put your heart, fit on God's word. And then, what else Hebrew says? Solid food and milk. And you think, well, I'll go, go, go drink milk. <laughs> Is it for talking about that? Not the physical milk. It's the solid food. Meat belongs to the grown up, to those who know that uh, they understand what is the righteousness of God. And how do we get all this? Deep into our spirit, we need the good soil. Okay? Where? The, the bird cannot eat, all our busyness of life cannot take it away. Because how busy you are, how many of you here are so busy, but you never eat? Two days, one day or so, you'll be sure you can eat a bit, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> even not a lot, right? Really no time to eat, at least one meal also got, right? Uh, 
and the leaves are so good, and then they all don't eat, it's for them. Right? <laughs> so, why? Because your physical body know how to tell you that it's hungry, habitual, because we're so ruled by body. Right? So the body can tell you, hungry, no strength. Spirit man voice also want to tell you, I'm so hungry. <laughs> no strength, can you feed me? Didn't hear also. <laughs> Didn't hear the spirit man so pitiful. All right, telling you, let me please feed me. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay, you. Just wait, lah, wait until we end, lah, then I feed you. Lah, you know? Well, wait, right? Yeah. So Jesus is telling very clearly. Okay, sorry for those people there. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, that you are spirit, spirit food for spirit man. That's why when you see that, okay, I want, I want to access the promised land, the promises of God, every area. I don't want the devil. Right, the evil one, the giants, the Goliath, and all that to rob me of what Jesus has given me. Okay, so just once a week and all that is not enough. Someone is coming from somebody's mouth, but it's good, it's here. Okay, and again, we need to hear the, the right one. Okay, which is direct from God. Now, I'll ask you something. What kind of? Okay, exit a bit. Okay, now my uh, just let me free flow. Okay, okay let's uh, thank you, Lord, for this time. Holy Spirit, I acknowledge you as the greatest teacher and revealer of truth. I ask that you think through my mind and speak through your mouth and let your words go forth, not in my own human wisdom, but in demonstration of your spirit and power. May the faith of your people rest in you and your power. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so a little bit. Uh, to explain certain things, okay, it's good that I see you all physically so I can see the face. All right. Okay, there's something, uh, okay, so you know that spirit food is for spirit man, which is God's word, right? God's word. Everyone say God's word. Not man's word. <laughs> okay. So what happened is today. All right, many of God's children are not listening purely God's word. They're listening to a bit of man's opinion, huh? man's word. And I'm not against uh, devotions and all that. But do you know what is devotion? You see, in the year, in the how the, the people in the book acts, why they go so powerful one? They did it, they are different. <laughs> are they different body they come from? You know, they got special. Same, right? Every human being from Adam and us is exactly the same. But why are they so powerful? Why Peter, you know, all the disciples, they all are like very different. And then why the generals are so different? Right? And we all like, Christine was so high, <laughs> but also very different. Okay? Because they don't eat another person's uh, opinion. Okay? Which good intention of the people who wrote all those books right? and even devotion. But what is the devotion? Devotionals. It is, they take a verse and then they get the revelation. They eat already, chew, 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 and then they spit it out and you eat. <laughs> it's like the big mu the mummy. Have you all fit baby before? They cannot swallow the food, right? So the mummy will <laughs> blow first. Uh, and then Give the food, okay? So it, nothing wrong, but if the person is not very clear on the, the revelation of the scripture, right, can become half low, half grace, can also become, you know, not exact correct interpretation of the word, and the one who just take like that, okay, will be eating what bones inside, and will choke because one wrong belief can kill you. For the whole life, right? Like uh, Joan said, right? The mother taught her, have this savings account, cannot touch one. <laughs> Just one belief. I mean, you don't think it's wrong, right? At that time, not say wrong or what. It is not God's way. That's all. Okay? So it can destroy your whole life. Okay? By the, a simple wrong belief. 
okay, the wrong belief. So many, okay, that is not God's word, God's way. So devotion is fine. It's like a crutch. You know, the person who's the newborn, yeah, uh, or, or person who is weak, or something wrong with the leg. Actually, everyone can walk, right? So, but we take a crutch. <laughs> and then you get very comfortable with the crutch. Okay, with some, with the, it's a help. You know, the crutch, you're very comfortable, right? So even when you can walk already, you still like the crutch. Because very comfortable. Or the wheelchair. <laughs> you want better press and then zoom everywhere. <laughs> Go to the supermarket also. Can only do walk. Right? So you get comfortable with AIDS. All right? AIDS. Help. So devotionals were meant to help young believers. But the thing is, these young believers enjoy this help until they never come out of it. <laughs> okay? And what, what is the main thing? In the end, it should be eating direct from God, right? And you see many believers don't know the word direct. So I ask you, where are you? <laughs> All together, <way>, hello. <laughs> like I speak, it, speak speaking Spanish or what? Okay, so, but every day we depend on someone to interpret God's word for us. Who is the one can interpret God's word to you? Yeah, Holy Spirit, okay? The, the teacher, the preacher, oh, it's just a guide, all right? We guide you to know Him. I'm not here to make you depend on me, okay? Eventually, it's for everyone to grow up and you walk with God yourself, okay? So, you know, uh, in the world, in the world, I have my niece that tells me, who tells me, she's an accountant in the company. Then, he says she's oh, very loaded with work, ah. you know, everything thrown on her. The I say, why don't you delegate, you know, teach others? Okay, no. <laughs> I must be indispensable. You know, no telling anyone. The one so that the boss depend on her, then her salary will always be secure. That's what she thinks. Ah, you know? But then she's full of stress. <laughs> That's the world thinking. Insecurity, actually, right? But we don't have to have that. God's thinking is trained in part, right? Everyone, our part, all right, as part of the fivefold ministry, my calling is not to make everyone depend on me. Only I can do the miracles. <laughs> Only I can pray for the sick, you know? Only I can read the Bible and have revelation. No, it's to lead you all, teach you all to grow up and know Him. No God for yourself, right? Because God is a personal God. The God of Ed, uh, Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, can be the God of Evelyn, the God of Job. Your very personal God, right? You don't depend on another priest, right? That's why Catholicism went to this way. You have the Father there. The people all never read the Bible and <laughs> They just go there, wait for the priest to talk, talk, talk. And then, okay, amen. And then go back. Right or wrong also don't know. Okay? This is the... Definitely a lie of the devil to get the believers not knowing God, not knowing his word. Right? Because the moment they know the truth, the truth set them free, right? And they will be just as powerful as Paul, Peter. Okay, so within you, right? Because the source of your power, the source of your blessing is not how clever you are. It's God, right? You knowing him, not about him. And the best is, Go direct to the word of God. Right? And that, that, there's one more uh, thing. The Bible, very hard to understand, Lord. <laughs> you said that before, not anyone. <laughs> Everyone. Mr. B, now Mr. Huh? Mr. B, now Ah, so where did that belief come from? Where did that thinking? The Bible, very hard to understand. It's not from the Bible. Nowhere in the Bible, Jesus got say, my words, you know, they had to understand. Don't read Revelation. Don't read this. No, right? Paul didn't say. Paul said, study the scriptures. He didn't say very difficult to understand. Because if you study correctly to be a spirit man, that's your fault. But the lie of the devil, Bible will have to understand. So all new believers, or believers sometimes for many, many years, according to chronological years, would think that, don't go to the Bible. <laughs> I cannot understand what I need to read books and all that. Okay? That's why 
I really, and I can write books also. <laughs> Not a problem at all. But I learned from young, you know, I don't even remember what they taught me in the, this one, but I thank God he led me into uh, Gospel Hall, which is a brethren church that is Bible-based. All I know is they just make you memorize scriptures. And all I remember is my first Bible with a hardcover, small one. That I, their teachers tell us in Sunday school, go home and read Bible, memorize, memorize. Though I don't understand it, I just did it. Okay, But later on, I read the Bible for myself. Ah, never read Bible, right? <laughs> yeah, because you don't understand spirit. Okay, and then you listen to the light. But if you go through that, you know, you say, it's not to blame anyone around us. Okay, it's realizing, if not, there will be no human being on or Christian or earth that actually grew in the Lord without anyone telling them, right? There are many in the uh, communist countries or where, where, where they are not, they don't have access to church and pastors and all that. How did God save them? How did God talk to them? Yeah, remember the Pakistani lady, right? I dare to call him father. I mean, there are plenty, like, you know, some only wrote it in books. So I only read testimonies. Well, dreams. Ah, or to dreams or so. Okay, but at the end, they go to the word. It was the word that caused them, set them free. Right? She wanted, she went to hotel, you know, hotel, they have this Gideon Bible last time, right? Magdalene, yeah? On the, in the hotel drawer. Yeah. And she got, and then she began to read and they began to compare with her Quran. You know, they, the other religion, they study their, whatever they are supposed to. They have. Christians is the only one who hardly study <laughs> the word of God. Okay, So they know their Quran. Because why? They are Arab, come from uh, Jews. All right? And the Jews, Joshua 1.8. <laughs> okay? Have been brought up like that. Okay? To look into the word of God. All right? So Gentiles, they look into other things. Because what? They sit for miracles, signs, and wonders. Okay? So, a lot of many, many people got saved and even were used by God mightily by their own, right, going into the Bible. So how can the Bible be difficult to understand, right? It is God's word. It's the heart. It's the soil again. Your heart wants to know God or not. Many came from Catholic, right, where they were taught by that. Don't go, you know, no need to read Bible. But why some of them came out? Why Martin Luther came out? Ah, yes, because he read the Bible, he didn't believe the, all the other priests just say what they say. Is it possible? Yes. Okay, you can have your own, have a desire to want to read God's word. And then God told him, salvation is by grace, not by works. And he came out, that's why he protests. So you will not be rebellious, but you will protest against the devil already after you read the Bible for yourself. So it is their soul. It is your own hunger. Yeah. So it's not that I'm against devotion by anybody. Okay. They are good. Some. Okay? Some are totally out, but some are good. But home, if you read the Bible first and then you read devotion, okay. But you just, for whole life, depend on devotional, then your growth will be depending on what other people's revelation. Why not read the word of God? Before you read the Holy Spirit, open my eyes that I may understand and receive revelation. And then that part of reading one, Holy Spirit will help you. Some of you experience a bit of that, right? Yeah. When you actually went into the word yourself. Yeah, after a while, lazy already. <laughs> Try to eat fast food. <laughs> okay. Fast food easier, right? Just the burger and you just you know, put inside to prepare for you everything. Okay. But why not hear direct? God wants to speak to you, Adeline, directly from his word. Huh? But you can receive, you read that verse, uh, 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 everyone is in Christ as a new creation, all things have passed away, all things have become new. Who wants to speak to you direct? Certain part of that verse, Revelation, don't just take it from me or anyone. All right, I guide you to that every word has power inside, has revelation, has truth, not one time, a lot. So you go and dig what? Treasure. <laughs> treasure. Go dig. Right? The one who don't get the treasure is the one who didn't dig, right? 
<laughs> yes, of course. Yes, that's why Jesus said, my word is spirit and life. We cannot limit God to, okay, this is what you say and this is the pastor revelation. That's it. No more already. No. Yeah. God's word is very different from mathematics, science, geography, history. It's not a, a, a just a historical fact. <laughs> Okay, it is spirit, it is life. Yeah, that means it will, God will continue to give you more and more understanding and revelation for what? For your life, yeah, your life, your spirit life, which will flow out into your natural life that people will see something different about Evelyn Go. What happened? Huh? It's not you become more spiritual, more religious. It's your life different. You laugh at the, all the problems in this world. You have the joy. You got the peace, you know, and blessings coming into your life. Oh, like uh, who's that? Chinese? Uh, <laughs> wow! Go to the shop. People pay for you already. Oh, angel goes send. So is, is it only for her? Can be anyone. But God has his different ways of blessing. Right? We don't give it God. But if you do ask, okay, I want that one. Can I believe God will give you because it's in the God's will. But you may want to do it other way. So you have different, different ways of blessing. And people say, I'm sure that one, all right, unless the person is really 80, so what we'll say is a cannot be. But some will have to acknowledge that it is it must be divine intervention. You know, where got people suddenly pay for you and then so much. Ah, they also one, right? <laughs> yeah, we want the blessings, but we want. Supernatural, because you are supernatural being. Why just go for the natural slot and slot and slot? Let God bless you, right? All he asks us to do is get rid of the, the fear of lack of money by our tithing and offering, depend, showing to God that, hey, God, <laughs> I depend on you, okay? <laughs> then you do all these miracles, right? For me as well. Because I'm now depending on you. I'm not depending on my money, my boss, or whatever already. You are my source. And it's not just saying, I'm doing it. I'm acting upon it by putting my tithes over to Jesus. Right? So, this is called faith. Right? And then, when we do that, you are believing that God exists. You don't give to somebody you don't believe is real, right? <laughs> yeah. So, I'm telling you, God, Believe you exist, and then the second part, huh? Yeah, it's a rewarder of those who diligently seek. Seek what? Ah, him. Now it's clearer. Seek him, not seek the blessing, not seek the the miracle. Seek him, and then signs and wonders follow you. We follow Jesus. We follow His word. We seek Him. Okay, so we are the soil. Right, and the parable of the sower and the seed, and the seed is that we don't want to be the footpath one, neither the rock one, nor the thorns one. Okay, because each one represents something that choked the word. Okay, the thorns is what? Why your thing so long? <laughs> 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 okay, physical meeting is like this, right? That's why we laugh because uh, we are all here. Uh, don't worry. Uh, you all in Singapore will also have your physical meeting, okay? Oh, so higher, uh. I tend to forget they are there. <laughs> ah, okay, thank you, uh, Kathleen. That's the thorns one. <laughs> oh, <hello. laughs> but this one not zoom, ah. I can see. Ah. <laughs> What's the thorns? Thorns represent? Thorns represent our, all the our thinking, our earthly thinking. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> Yesterday, what, the, what did Jesus say the thorns represent? The cares? Of the world, ah, uh. so it's it's not just I mean th those uh, cares, uh, all right, the the worries yes. of the daily life, yeah, uh, and the money. Okay, this will become they will choke 
Okay, you hear wonderful, okay, um, God's blessing, firstborn, all right, the dew of heaven. Wow, you know, whatever I do, prosper. Very interesting. Then you didn't meditate, didn't go inside at all, okay? So, Ah, <laughs> yeah. Then after that, okay lah. You know, I want to do ah. Uh, I want to do. Hey, hello. Hi. Ah, uh, Dennis, right? Ah, uh, Dennis, come come have a seat. Come have a seat. Ah, five five a seat. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> okay. Okay, just going through a little bit of uh, yesterday's uh, teaching, yeah, as before we go into today's one. All right, the word of God. So, yesterday we talked about this. Uh, the second miracle that Jesus did, all right, which is the miracle of healing, all right, and also how to have miracles, which is represent the supernatural, to happen in your life. Right? Most people need miracle. Okay? That means what man cannot do. Right? When you go to a dead end like that, a lot of problem or whatever, right? or uh, come to uh, diseases that the doctors also don't know how to, cannot heal already, right? situations in our life, financial, whatever. And then we turn to God and say, God, I need a miracle. But in Christ, right, as a believer, we can have miracles happen yeah, every day, provided. <laughs> provided we have his word inside our heart. Yeah, because the miracle depends on the hearing the word. Yes, only his word can, can turn into miracle, right? The water into wine, okay? We need the water of the word. So if you don't hear the word, with God's word, we are hearing other people's word that has no life, cannot become miracle. The doctor only tell you exactly what the, their research says. Sorry, <laughs> six months more to live. That's all. The banker said, sorry, your account overdrawn. <laughs> they don't give you miracle, right? They tell you exactly what is the situation in what physically. But we want, we have a God Jesus, who come from heaven, is above, is supernatural, and can do miracles, turn water into wine, can surpass the natural into the supernatural, can do the healing that the doctor said, we, sorry, we cannot do anything for you. Because they're all based on the natural, the furthest that they can go. But Jesus goes further than that, into the supernatural. So when we have Jesus in our life, we can expect supernatural, but where? Okay, it's in the word. Okay, for example, when he says, go yesterday, right, to the uh, official, the son is sick to the point of death. death. And then, what did Jesus say? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, very easy to remember this. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Good, go. Your son lives. Okay, and then he delivered already. He go home. For us, most of us will say, Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? You can save me? Yeah. Hey, yo, I'm drowning in uh, debts and uh, problems and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor already certified. Said, oh, this one already. Everything haywire. He just said, Just go. Your son live. And what was he waiting for? He was not saying, Okay, Jesus, the physical Jesus. But now we don't have the physical Jesus. He finished his work already. Okay, but because of he finished his work of what redeeming us, bringing birth us into um, our spirit man born, so that we can now come into all the blessings. But it doesn't come automatically because we are spirit, soul, and body. That's the problem. Okay, you understand what the main problem is? You expect okay, I know Jesus already. Then everything happened automatically. Then you find uh, six months later. Nothing much happened. <laughs> okay, right? Is the people go temple? You go to church. So called go to church. That's the only difference. They read their whatever book you uh or whatever you read Bible. Some never read Bible. Earlier one I teach already. <laughs> <laughs> Even worse. Okay, 
So what become another religion? Jesus is not another religion. Okay? Jesus is God. Right? The supernatural miracle working God. Whatever he say is supernatural. Okay? He don't tell you that is. Go take 10 pills a day. <laughs> you know, this one, that one. And then uh, you see whether okay or not. <laughs> if not okay, I, I add another 10 pills. No, right? He just tell the, the, the servant, uh, the, 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 the lawyer official, what? Go! Your son live. Simple. It's the word of God. If God said to you, go! Well, you, you have a new life. You will be prosperous, blessing. You say, how can I know that? How still minus zero? So where did the thing come from? That thought. Okay? It's all the, from the world. Right? The unbelief, the, the, the belief system of the world. He said, go, you're healed. But I'm still sick. Huh? <laughs> I still feel all this huh? you know, in my body. So you have the, what is fighting? It's like the... Uh, Giants in the promised land like that. They are holding on to you. Don't want to let go what belongs to you. Right? They hold on to their, the, the houses there. The, the, the God's children have to go in and kill them to get those promises, right? The blessings in the promised land. So God promises so many things already, right? Ah, blessings, health, divine health, healing. Why do they not get one? <laughs> Why do they don't get one? <laughs> Okay, because they have all this, the mind, okay? The spirit is the one that got born again when you see Jesus, okay? But you have a soul, okay, which is your... Actually, give your answer already. Now everyone should be say automatically. <laughs> your soul... Ah, it's your will, okay? Your part that you decide, you, you choose, you make decisions. You make a decision today to come here. Right to hear God's word, so you choose one. Nobody force you, right? Anybody put gun? <laughs> Anybody came here because your sister brother put one gun here? You don't want to shoot you, huh? <laughs> No, right? You make a decision. Okay, all they encourage you just go. Okay, and then you you still have your own free will, free choice, right? So the will is the, the part, the free choice that God didn't take away from from you. All right, He gave to you to choose. You want to. Grow, you want to learn, you want to receive Jesus, you want to receive it, so all up to you. What you want to do, you want to fight, you want to all everything up to you. Okay? That is a free choice that God didn't take, right? From when God created Adam, he gave him a free choice, right? That he chose to eat the fruit, right? Very easy, look like very normal fruit, you know, fruit of tree of knowledge of good and evil. <laughs> you think of it, what big sin is that? He didn't kill anybody. He didn't kill his wife. <laughs> because at that time, only got two of them. Okay? So you think sin is what? I must kill somebody. I must this one. No. It's just not obeying what God said. <laughs> you know? This God said. And then in the end, he just wanted knowledge. But today, after Adam disobeyed God, okay, the world's knowledge is going to destroy us. Right? We only need the life of Jesus. Right? Take off the tree of life. Today, Jesus represents the tree of life. Okay, you can move it back so you can see in the Zoom people. So it's Zoom people. <laughs> Today, I'm very excited with all the physical ones here. Okay, long time no see. Okay, but we will have uh, Holy Spirit power encounter, power feast soon. Okay, so, right, sometimes we don't realize, okay, all the knowledge that we have accumulated, tree of knowledge of good and evil, which is uh, what is good, what is bad, what is evil, right and wrong. I think all those is going to help us in our life. But what did God say? Wrong fruit. <laughs> so I Google, find all the information. Where do we get life? Huh? Tree of life where? You got not. <laughs> not the physical tree of life already, right? Not the physical tree. What is the tree of life? Yeah, Jesus. Jesus is the word made flesh. Okay? So we need to have his word on the pathway. <laughs> Yesterday, yes. 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 Ah, the inside, deeply rooted inside the heart, digested some more. 
all right, so that it can grow and blossom into bearing fruit. Okay, you 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 plant seed, you just put on the top top like that. Here here can grow now. <laughs> you have to get good soil, dig it, make it deep inside, and then water, right? So for miracles to happen, not supernatural. Don't think of miracle as just only you know healing. Or the, the whole life to be very different one. You're no longer sad. You're no longer down. You know, you overcome your five senses emotion. Today, I feel so down. Yesterday, I was so happy. Oh. I don't know why today, no more happy already. <laughs> okay, that is because your five senses are still ruling you, right? The old thoughts and thinking, where did they come from? They come from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. <laughs> okay, you just need to eat. Jesus said, my words are spirit and are life with you. And then I thought, how to eat? Bible taught one. Okay, not I taught actually. Right? I'm just teaching what the Bible tells you. Okay, how to eat? Meditate day and night. Because if you don't meditate day and night, you just hear today, very good. Hallelujah. Amen. And then tomorrow, what did pastor say? Huh? <laughs> What's the thing? Forgot already. The first time I eat up already, the word of God. Then you're, you're down, 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 down. Okay? So remember, same thing with eating food. We have to repeat, repeat. So because um, still cannot get in. <laughs> Hopefully, we will get in and then we all begin to eat, right? So I said physical food. Ah, that means what? Can we eat how many times a day? Ah, three times. And then a week. <laughs> Every day in the week, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's not physical food, not once in a week, right? Your physical food, your lunch, breakfast, dinner. Every day for every week, for every month, for every year, right? <laughs> You're not jalak, right? You still have to eat, right? Because you need to eat. Because sometimes we sometimes we eat for pleasure and we eat junk food, right? So the spirit man also is a person, okay, inside you. It's your spirit born again, right? That we see Jesus that we feel come alive. Okay, but that's about it. It's a baby born. The baby born. Ah, you got children, huh? Yeah. Yeah, when your baby born, you got feed food. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely got, right? If you didn't give food, your child can grow, huh? Can you grow, right? Ah. So, spirit man also is the same. Okay, so the, the, the body can be 20 years old, 30 years old, but the spirit man just born again is like a baby. So the word, word, word of God also say, right? The newborn need food, milk. Then as they grow older, meat. But we use the physical food to feed the spirit man. <laughs> Isn't it? No, wow, when you say no already, she very clearly because she got to do meditation confession. Yeah, you feed the spirit man. It's like it's certain area. So, whichever area you build, that area you control the five senses already, right? Because your spirit man now in that particular area is very strong. So, sometimes we feel many and many different in our life, we got different parts, right? Different areas. So, we have financial area, life, health, life, healing, life, everything. Okay, so we have different food. Okay, you have different supplement, different vitamins for different things, right? You build uh, calcium for your bones and all that. Okay, so we need, Jesus said what? My words are spirit and our life is for your spirit man. Okay, and you cannot just eat one time in a week, right? You need to eat every day because Bible says day and night. Day and night, meditate on my word. Meditate means the word is a Hebrew word. It says haga, right? Means matter. Okay, so this physical body is very lazy one. <laughs> okay, but if you realize that you have a spirit man already, and the spirit man is going to be very weak if you don't eat God's word. Okay, not the head knowledge, but the will, right? But the spirit, so that you can rule, you can make decisions from your spirit man which is eating god's word because only speaking eating and speaking god's word can miracle can happen right uh, we speak our own word it's not like party and party right yeah <laughs> okay 
you won't get any spiritual benefit from it. Right? Jesus said, the flesh profit nothing. Okay? So what the spirit is like, my words are sharper than two-edged sword. Then stop already. <laughs> okay? So who medicate? Okay? And then after that, certain meditations, after meditating, understand it. Okay, if you don't understand it again, it will be taken away from you. All right. So oh, when you all begin to get more and more of uh, this understanding of yourself in spirit and needing the spirit food, yeah, attending burnings and all of you who are meditating, eating every day, will just be totally different. You will see yourself different. You know, you're speaking God's word now. Last time, speak bad word. <laughs> Now it's not good word. It is God's word coming out from you. Okay? And God's word will be bring life and spirit. Life, shalom, peace, wholeness, blessing in every area of your life. Knowledge just give you big head. Bible say what? Okay, Paul said, knowledge puff up. Okay? But we need what? Revelation, knowledge, the understanding of the word. Okay? So how many of you retain God's word, that the parable of the sower and the seed, the seed is God's word. You only retain for maybe 10 minutes if you don't continue eating it every day. Okay, let's go into today's <laughs> session. <laughs> Otherwise, what? I sow seed. And then what happens? The seed fall on pathway. Pathway means after you're here today, tomorrow you're very busy already. <laughs> you are always on the path, right? And then you step, you rush, you don't eat. Correct? So very clear on the pathway already. So very busy with your things all you don't eat. Then it doesn't benefit you. The birds come and eat for you. <laughs> they eat, you forget already. Okay? Then the other one is the The rock. What is the rock again? Ah, cannot, didn't go deep, right? So you imagine you just eat food in your mouth only and then you spit it up. <laughs> After you're going to eat, uh, rubber loaf of tea. Okay? <laughs> so you all eat, uh, just put a little bit in the mouth and then throw away. Is it going to benefit you? Are you going to feel full? You need to go deep into your stomach into your digestive system and that is by meditating confessing the word okay every once a year day. <laughs> every day day and night all right so you will have spirit life inside you okay the other one is what thorns are oh, not clear already because if you don't understand this parable you just say all the others also no point. Right? I keep talking, talking, talking. You only understand here and then excited here and then the next day. <laughs> Don't know where. I Give back to the teacher. Okay. So, eat every day. Her teacher, sister knows how to eat every day. Right? She quietly eat. Huh? I don't even know. She never tell me. <laughs> yeah. You know, I really didn't know that she was doing the meditation and confession. Because it's so quiet one. You know? But I teach her. I teach everyone actually. You know, and because she don't want. She's fed up of the devil playing around with your life. Correct? Yeah. Then she heard properly. It was good soil. She heard that this word, God, Jesus can change her. Okay, can deliver her from this nonsense of the devil disturbing her, you know. And then she listen properly, she do. Remember? The, hear first, listen. Then the more you listen, the more you believe. And then act. So you can even believe at the moment. Okay? But you believe what? To do the action that is required. So she believed that God's word, Jesus, word, meditating, confession, can deliver her out of the situation. She did it. She eat. You can see today your sister is very different. I think your own life is <laughs> okay. Maybe not super, you know, but at least spiritually grown. Not afraid of the devil. She got one testimony, right? 
different reading. Last time in the office, the devil disturbed her, she go home. And she dialed 911. <laughs> How the hell? Okay, but today no, it's a devil girl. Wow. Okay, where did it come from? Not one time hearing. All right, every day meditating until the word sing deep inside, take root already. Virus also get out. <laughs> COVID get out. Okay, so how did this happen? It's through meditation day and night until you believe deep rooted. Okay, all right. The thorns one again. All right. If you hear one time, yeah, Jesus will take care of you. He will do miracle for you. He will provide for you. Yeah. And then tomorrow, the cares of the world. Oh, yeah. Look at my account. Look at all the problems and everything. All right. I need money. Forgot already. <laughs> what was uh, said earlier. So how? It is like the tones choke the word. But you heard it, you heard God's word. Jesus said, My God, you know, the word of God said, My God will supply all your needs. I'll do a miracle for you. That is my financial. Right? I, I became, Jesus became poor so that I became, uh, uh, what? By his grace, he became poor so that I, through his poverty, might become rich. Rich. Yeah, that is the divine exchange. That is what happened first. And then after that, by grace, we see also the only way is. Big harvest, sowing and reaping and hiding. That's all simple. So you will see miracle happen. Okay, but you need to water the word. Water the uh, by keep on feeding, keep on feeding. Okay, so that you, your mind will no longer think this is the situation. This one cannot change because we are in the five senses realm. Okay, to go into the spirit realm. It takes a little bit of work, but Mary and no problem. Eating. <laughs> okay, if you like to eat, no problem, but this is different because this is now your physical body obstruction. Your physical body and your, and, uh, your mind that is from the, and, uh, from the world will come in and say, no need, no need, no need, then really to have food. <laughs> Stuff until next day. Okay, so how much you eat is how fast you grow and how strong you grow depends on what type of food you eat. Okay, so even God's word, we need to know how to divide His word. Okay, what is law, what is grace, what is not for new covenant people, what is not for uh, it's only for Jews, what is for Gentiles, what is for everyone. Abraham's blessing, is it just for the Jews? You know, do you know what is Abraham's blessing? Okay. So we cannot assess something, we don't even know. The father wants to give you his property, his, this one. You, know, you don't even know what he has. <laughs> okay, so we need to know. All right? And that comes from his word, daily meditation and confession. So I hope that more and more, all right, you all, See the urgency of uh, meditating and confessing God's word. So here I put for you, which means I personalize and pick up the words, pick up the law, and just give you the grace. All right, the part that you need, who God is and who you are. Okay, and you want to test whether I will say I don't believe Pastor Stephanie. I already hear her, the word of God so many times today. I don't need to meditate. <laughs> I just ask you a question, you also cannot answer. <laughs> okay, the word of God, very simple. And it's not yet inside. Okay, so we think it's inside, but it's not. All right, but imagine when the word of God, the spirit of life, is inside you, what's going to happen? You will be rivers of living water. Your life is a life of miracles, right? Even with problems in this world, you just know what Jesus said. When people tell you something not correct, you also know. Okay, but we don't know if we don't know God's word. So you're clear on this parable. You all want to be good soil. <laughs> yes, I believe. Mean, amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Go eat more, okay? Yeah. Okay, because today, this is the time when Jesus is about to come. There's no more time to take 20, 30 years to feed your spirit man and grow. God will use you, Mary Ann. 
for the you. But what are you going to talk? God's word, right? That's why you're so hungry. Every uh, uh, spark jewel, you're ready from 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Okay? Why? Because you want to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Natural, so she likes to eat. <laughs> Spiritual, so she likes to eat. Good. Praise the Lord. Okay? She's listening. Okay? Every time uh, uh, Ching Lam or Daphne is teaching, I can see Mary Ed is fully concentrated. <laughs> okay? And now Kate and uh, uh, Derek also coming in. Okay? To hear the living word. Right? Because don't underestimate God's word. You're not teaching them geography history. Taking God's word that will produce miracles in their lives and that also can bless others. She knows how to lead someone to Jesus, you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Praise the Lord. Okay. The hunger for God's word. Understand? Yeah. And then we went to this morning, Mary. Oh, Mary. Oh, all the M very good. Huh? Madeline is here. <laughs> yeah. To listen to God's word. She can just stay at home and sleep. Something in her heart. Wants the reality of God. Yes, Madeline. Yeah. You want God in your life. You don't want any more philosophy, man's opinion, man's teaching. You want the God of the Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the God of miracles, Jesus Christ, who can raise the dead, heal the sick. You want that, right? In your life, so you're here today. You want to listen to God's word. Okay? But the soil, right, need to keep on hearing every week. So after what you hear today, Sometimes the sermon or message you can hear again and again to, to get it in, right? Then on your own, the promises that are personalized for you, you keep on eating. Okay? One hour to bring that in. But if it goes in, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah? Because it's not uh, finish my job, finish the lesson, and then no, it's whether you all get it or not. That's more important to me. Okay? Okay. Okay, which way? Okay, today I'm using Marianne's iPad, so a bit confused. Okay. How do I get to the next slide? Okay. We will start a while. All right, so today. All good soil. Huh? <laughs> Faith sees only one goal and makes decisions towards that goal. You all have the slide? Okay. Ah, oh, if you put bigger, you all can see. Right? Okay, I can still see them. Good. I move back and take. <laughs> Sorry, I zoom people. Hey, after so pray for you. <laughs> okay, faith sees only how many goals? One. One. One only. Okay, so which is our spirit man, all right, created for only one purpose, not so many, so no need to get confused. And then can make decision, okay, towards that goal. So we need to know today, we will know what is that goal. For your spirit man, right? Because the spirit man act in faith, all right? The whole currency of heaven, everything how it works in the spiritual realm is by faith. You believe Jesus, you didn't see him, right? Yeah, so that is faith. Faith is what? Anyone? <laughs> what? It's the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Okay, that means it's substance, it's not blind. Okay, it's in the spirit realm. Okay, and it's based on God's word. God say you are healed. And you believe that's faith. Because the body says you're not healed. The mind says not healed. Okay? So faith is not simply believe anything. Believing God's word. That's why when you meditate every day God's word, you begin to believe. And that's when it will happen according to that word. The miracle will happen. Hmm? But you didn't see. So we have... Uh, the, People say, see first, then believe. Faith is believe God's word first, then you will see the miracle, the result. Okay? So, there's only 
one goal. Okay, in this world, we know what's goal, right? <laughs> Don't worry. Marianne is still all right. Angel's here. <laughs> so today, I forgot to bring my iPad. Okay, and Marianne knew about it. Ah, Holy Spirit told her. Okay, so, you all know what the meaning of goal, right? Where you are going, right? Uh, so this one is uh, Elsa Duan. Very good. Okay. <laughs> this picture. Sometimes I do, sometimes you do. Very good picture. Okay. There's only one goal. Okay. So no, have so many. The world tell you so many complicated ones. Okay? You don't, it's not difficult, but, but you understand what is this goal. And then you make decision. Can I move on? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, it has to go like that. Swipe. Okay, this way. Okay. Uh, okay, so remember, I said I will give you a quote because we are in the series of the teachings of faith. Okay, and Smith Wigglesworth, uh, quote Smith, Smith Wigglesworth, you all know him already, right? <laughs> or also hear one thing and the next day forget already. Okay, he was a plumber, uneducated in the probably 1920s or what, in London. A great man of God, but he didn't automatically become a man of God. He, tell me his story. He, he was a plumber and uh, then his wife from a preacher so that he, he, he wanted to know what the wife taught him how to read the Bible. And he only read the Bible. Ah, yes, he got the key points, right? And then after that, he was a great evangelist. Of God, right? Uh, just doing a lot of miracles. And his whole basis in his spiritual life is feeding on God's word to me. He don't read any other books. At first, he can't even read. So it's not about how intelligent we are. Okay? Your past doesn't matter at all. Okay? It's your new spirit man. And he, he has his uh, New Testament. That's all he His wife taught him and he read the New Testament, meditate on God's word. And that's why he became so powerful. <clears throat> so he had this quote. So all his quotes is based on God's word. Faith looks, uh, sorry, fear look, faith jump. So once you are building your faith in your everyday meditation, you'll be able to jump. Not jump down the window. <laughs> Not for me suicide. Okay? Jump into the promises of God that are supernatural, all right? Begin to act on work that doesn't make sense to the logical mind, but if Jesus said it, it's done. Good enough for me, all right? Faith never fails to obtain its object. Okay, remember that one goal, right? The promise, okay? If you, you want healing, the, the promise of God is you'll be healed. The promise of God is you know, you will no longer experience financial uh, problem in your life, then you will have it. If you understand how to get there, all right? By faith, it's not by words. If I leave you as I found you, I'm not God's channel. Okay, because he's a man of God, right? As a, as a teacher, preacher, evangelist. He said, I, like for me, okay, if I see you, okay, you are at this place, all right, uh, that means you just received the Lord, now your faith is like that only, okay, because it's normal, right, and we baby like that. If I just leave you there, of course, if you, if you, if you don't want to do anything, like that, right? but if I see you every week and then I just leave you at that place, still baby, for another 10 years, what he said, I'm not God's channel. Because I'm not here to entertain you. <laughs> okay. I'm not here to entertain you. That's why I talk until like that. <laughs> Sometimes you see, I talk until I don't know more words. Right? Because why? I'm God's servant. I represent God. And what does God want to do in our lives is the final goal. All right? Not the death me today. It's the death me in two years' time, three years' time. God see you like that. And I'm here as his servant his minister to help you reach that perfection, that place that God wants to bring you to, to that destiny. Okay? Because if I see you all in the natural, I 
probably give up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 you still But no, okay, thank God, because He is inside me, Holy Spirit. We don't see you in the natural, not today, not tomorrow, we'll be like, but one year's time, if you get the word of God, right? Some may be more years, praise the Lord, finally. <laughs> Get in. Okay, at least to, to start the thing. Okay, so as a man of God, a woman of God, we really know our calling, our destiny, what we are supposed to do. This is what we're supposed to do. That's what Smith Wigglesworth said. I'm not here to entertain you. Some preachers entertain you, right? <laughs> but to get you to the place where you can laugh at the impossible. That's the place of God's word. Because God's word always say things that are impossible to the human mind, right? You understand? So miracle is an impossible thing. Water to go turn the wine is impossible, right? Sickness, disease, you say, Jesus say can heal, Jesus can heal, it's impossible. No money to become plenty of money, like uh, Marianne said, right? <laughs> you can't test the money like that. You know? Yes, uh, correct. Ah. Oh, impossible, she's not even working. Yet, but God can do it. Right? So, and then the devil tell you, oh, all of you will die. All oh, should get COVID, she will die. How to escape it? The, the pandemic, or whatever, all the problems of this world. Right? You come to the place, your faith is where you believe God, not the bad news, not the news of the world, not what people say. As Marian, what God say, yeah, that's why she's always there at the iPad there. Don't worry, yeah? it's still all right. <laughs> <laughs> all the cover, okay. <laughs> okay, so bring you to the place, all of you, your faith go up. You know, you have the grace as well, all right, to know that it's nothing, to, uh, grace is very important to know that uh, it is not our own works, but it is what Jesus love us unconditionally done for us and then to move on from that grace is to build your faith that is the hit the right way because just grace alone is whatever will be will be <laughs> the future is not us we see no we don't sing that song okay we the world what tells us what's the future like yeah it's good and how to get there as a pathway as a map remember the word of god is a Lamb unto my feet and a light unto my path. Now, uh, which path are you going? Which is your light? <laughs> Somebody word teaching you how to walk this world, or word of God? If you have the word of God, it's very clear. The word is a lamb unto my feet. Only His word can give you the light, and only His word can give you the direction where to go. Yeah, Marianne got it, right? Yeah, so stick at the iPad there and listen. <laughs> because it's His Word and the Holy Spirit is here to bring the understanding okay, of that Word to guide your daily path, the work, the journey that you're going to walk in this life. Right? The goal is where are you going to end? Right? So we're going to be very clear this morning about what God's goal for us is. Very simple one. Many people's goal is like, no, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Okay. Actually, I didn't worry, but just in case you worry, so both of us not worrying. Okay, very good. Praise the Lord. We all have the mind of Christ. We are resting, all right? Angel, take care of this iPad. Okay, so this is the place, all right? So I won't leave you. Just where you come in. Today you come in with 5% faith. I'm not going to leave you at 5% faith. Whatever I can, I'll help you to grow your faith, all right? To walk in the realm of the supernatural. And that's my job done, okay? And I see you grow, okay? To the intention of God who wanted, uh, God wants you to be, all right? No, not baby, okay? To grow up, okay? Uh, this way, this way, sorry, today is not my iPad, but thank you for the iPad. It was by faith. Okay, we start here. Actually, this meeting is very exciting. <laughs> I can go longer. <laughs> okay, 
Hebrews 11.22. We are in the book of Hebrews, right? Which is all the uh, generous of faith, talking about faith. So we will learn a lot. Have you learned a lot? Or oh, the bird come and eat already? <laughs> from the uh, course, foundation course directory. Okay, growing from faith to faith, right? We are not going to go from faith to fear. Today, full of faith. Tomorrow is full of fear. <laughs> so, makes no sense, right? We're going from faith to faith, right? And that's the one hearing the word. So, uh, Adeline has already, uh, with Elsa, right, done for us. So that you can, those of you who missed the teachings, can go and listen again. It was by faith that Joseph, when he was about to die, said confidently that the people of Israel would leave Egypt. He even commanded them to take his bones with them when they left. So Joseph was under Pharaoh and Egypt, but he can see ahead one. He can see into the future. Okay, Joseph is before Moses. That's why you all need to read the Bible. Otherwise, you know who is Joseph, who is Moses. <laughs> okay, but never mind. Okay, so today, I hope you all to see the importance of the word of God, right? Reading for yourself. Okay, <clears throat> he is confident. Okay, faith is not, I'm not sure, you know, really God will bless me or not. I'm not like, you know, this one full of faith. Because you're not sure because you don't know God's word. That's all. Right? Or not deep enough. But when you put God's word deep enough, you will be confident. Okay? Confident about what? About your life today and future, <laughs> future and for ah, forever. Okay? Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and? Ah, you know, it's a joke, right? Because last time he said yesterday. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> See, you need to know God's word, right? Even like yesterday, today, tomorrow, then the day after tomorrow, how? Because like Jesus no more the same. Jesus in Hebrews so says he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. That's why we have an eternal spirit, an eternal God that is forever. And all his promises are for. Ever, yes, hallelujah. And the people of Israel, he knew about the future. He already see inside him that the children of Israel will be led out of Egypt into the promised land. That's why he said to them, take my bones with you when you leave. So Joseph, that time, Moses not yet appeared. Uh, okay, because we seem to know everything you did, so we are like, no, nothing. <laughs> Actually, he don't know, right? So faith can see into the future, believing in God, what he said, right? Joseph knew that God would take the children of Israel out of Egypt. So he already tell the people, take my bones with you. That's faith. Okay? Sorry, yeah. Okay. He refused to be afraid. Uh, faith prompted Okay, so we will today look a little bit into Moses. Okay, everyone know who is Moses? Huh? <clears throat> Can I have some more water, please? <clears throat> Thank you. They prompted the parents of Moses at his birth to hide him for three months because they realized their child was exceptional and they refused to be afraid of the king's edict. Okay, so... This is in Hebrews, recording uh, of a recorder of what happened to Moses in the Old Testament earlier. Thank you. So we will go into a little bit into the account of Moses. What it means, what this uh, author of Hebrews was saying that it was faith that caused Moses to do this, or the parents of Moses to hide him for three months. It was by faith. This way to the left, to the left. Okay, then Pharaoh gave this order. So we go back into the account. Pharaoh gave his order to all his people, throw every newborn Hebrew boy into the Nile River, but you may let the girls live. Oh, that time also like that. <laughs> <laughs> so bad, huh? like China. Like that, huh? Okay. <clears throat> so this was the instruction he was in. Uh, Egypt, okay? It was happening in Egypt. There were children of Israel all in Egypt. 
tortured by the Egyptian at a certain point. But the Pharaoh is the king. So he knew, all right, from the Israelites, they probably must have thought that their God is going to raise up a deliverer to take out the children of Israel from Egypt. So his way is to kill the one, because he don't want them to get out the people who were using the Egyptian as the, the, the Jews as slaves. So he said, kill every newborn Hebrew boy. So all you men, you're glad that you're not born that time. <laughs> If not, you will be cute. Okay. Into the Nile River, but the girls live. Yay. <laughs> okay, so you all get clearer picture. I thought, oh, you read the Bible like storybook and then, you know. Okay. Go to the left. About this time, so this time when the king of Egypt gave this decree, all right, this law, there was a man and woman from the tribe of Levi. They got married, just like uh, our friend is going to get married, right? The woman became pregnant. Oh, she must have pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. And gave birth to a son. So, under the law, how? Yes. So, will be killed. Yes, this is a Hebrew boy. And... Cute or not, baby? <laughs> she saw the mother of Moses. Now we know it's Moses. So go bring back okay, to that time. Don't go ahead of it. And you see what happened. You will learn something very powerful. She saw that he was a special baby and kept him hidden for three months. Because the, all the Egyptian were coming, soldiers were coming to kill the baby. Right? Your baby. When she could no longer hide him, she got a basket made of papyrus, needs and waterproof it with a tar and pitch. She put the baby in the basket and laid it among the needs along the bank of the Nile River. Right? She knows that this child must be something God wants to use. Right? And she didn't name him Moses. <laughs> okay, no name yet. All right? But she kept her him and put it in a basket for the river. The baby's sister then stood at a distance watching to see what would happen to him. Soon, Pharaoh's daughter came down to bathe in the river and her attendants walked along the river bank. When the princess saw the basket among the reeds, she sent her maid to get it for her. When the princess opened it, she saw the baby. The little boy was crying. Cute, huh? And she felt sorry for him. This must be one of the Hebrew children, she said. She is a Egyptian princess. Egypt always represents what? Huh? Huh? The world. Okay? The world. That means whoever, the, the outside, the kingdom of God. The baby sister approached the princess. Should I go and find one of the Hebrew women to nurse the baby for you? She asked. Yes, do, the princess replied. So the girl went and called the baby's mother. Take this baby and nurse him for me. The princess told the baby's mother, I will pay you for your help. So the woman took the baby home and nursed him. Later on, okay, so... This baby is a Hebrew, raised in a Egypt. Same like this. Similar. Egypt represents the world. Okay? Yeah. Israel, to us today, we, we belong to Christ in the new creation. Right? We are the church, the body of Christ. But we are, we have been raised in this world. Okay, so when the boy was older, his mother brought him back to Pharaoh's daughter who adopted him as her own son. The princess named him Moses. <clears throat> Not God named him, the princess. The Egyptian. I lifted him out of the water. Many years later, when Moses had grown up, 
so he was this baby origin is a Jew. But raised in the in Egypt by Egyptian in the palace princess. Okay, can you visualize what how he was raised up? Right? With the Egyptian way of living. Right? Everything that was taught to him, is it the Jewish way? But the mother was there also. Okay, so he probably had both. Yeah. Okay, because the mother was able to be like a, the nurse, uh, the, the babysitter. Okay, so he had both. He had the mother probably telling him that he's actually a Hebrew. All right, and you all need to know your divine heritage. You are a child of God. <laughs> okay, the thing is, you belong to God. You're born from above, from heaven, from Jesus. But in this world, raised up in this world, okay, how to, now what to do? <laughs> okay, so look at what, how God, what, what how Moses uh, acted by faith, all right, and walked and came, became, walked into his destiny as a deliverer of the children of Israel, right? They were in bondage. So, many years later, Baby cannot do much, right? <laughs> you don't send your baby to go and fight, right? <laughs> they will come back. Ah! <laughs> Pain, ah, hungry, ah, thirsty. Ah, okay? So baby, just feed. All right? So like you are in the newborn, feed the word of God first. Feed first. Grow your spirit man. Make your spirit man strong. Grow, grow, grow. Okay? Very important stage is for you to grow. Okay? So... When you are grown up already, then you can send the soldier to go and fight, right? Okay. Remember, in the army, got no babies uh, can be recruited. Okay. So spiritual is the same. Many years later, when Moses had grown up, so you don't need to grow up. <laughs> you remember? That's not show one picture, right? The adult drinking baby bottle. Ah, then, then John always remember that picture. Okay. So we have adult body, Spirit man, baby. Okay, no. Okay, spirit man must go already. Okay, eat. The princess, where is it? Okay, they went, he went out to visit his own people, the Hebrews, because he knew, right? The babysitter is the mother, right? Tell him his divine heritage, origin. So that's why I keep telling you all, you all are God's children, right? You, your identity is in Christ. Right above supernatural, not normal anymore. But you, you have this physical body, you live in this world, just like he was raised up in Egypt. He saw how hard, so he went to see people, the Hebrews, and then he saw this when he's young, you cannot see, huh? okay. Only after he grew up, see as he don't realize it. Then he saw how hard they were forced to work because at time, yeah, Pharaoh really ill treated, yeah. Egyptian, I uh, sorry, the, the Hebrew children, hard taskmasters, the Bible said. During his visit, he saw an Egyptian beating one of his fellow Hebrews. So can imagine, huh? Robert Lowe beat. <laughs> okay, this one. Okay. So, wow, what did he do? What did he do? He saw, saw someone beat your brother. Hmm. That's what he looked in all directions. And then to make sure no one was watching, Moses killed the Egyptian and hid the body in the sand. The next day, when Moses went out to visit his people again, he saw two Hebrew men fighting. Why are you beating up your friend? Moses said to the one who had uh, started the fight. Say, so first he killed an Egyptian already, right? He fought for his own kind. But is it God's way? Ah, it's not. But he is a fiery young man. <laughs> but he got burning inside him, his heritage as a Hebrew child. I must defend my Hebrew brother. He didn't know God's way. Because in him, in his life, he only grew up Egyptian way. Right? 
the world way of handling matters. Okay. Then he saw the two Hebrew fighting. He also tried to be the judge, telling them why you fight each other. Mm, definitely don't fight with Evelyn, you know, this kind of thing. <laughs> okay. Then what they say to him. Hey, this, this direction. And the man replied, Who appointed you to be our prince and judge? See, if we don't have God's way, we will do our own way. And people will not recognize you. <coughs> All right? As the man of God, with the wisdom of God. Judge must have wisdom, right? Are you all going, are you going to kill me as you killed that Egyptian yesterday? Then Moses was afraid, thinking everyone knows what I did. Sure enough, Pharaoh heard what had happened. He tried to kill Moses. But Moses fled from Pharaoh and went to live in the land of Midian. When Moses arrived in Midian, he sat down beside a well. So what happened is Moses realized this is not what he did was, you know, not acceptable. Okay, at the same time, he don't have the wisdom, but he didn't want to continue to stay there already. So the Bible says, so he left, he left Egypt. In Hebrews 11, faith enabled Moses to choose God's will. Yeah? So faith helped you to choose what? God's will was not for him to continue there in Egypt anymore. All right? This incident had to happen for him to realize that, that he knows his origin, but he doesn't know how to do it, how to save his people. He knows that his people are all in bondage, his Hebrew children, all right? And he tried to do to save them his own way, killing the Egyptian. Okay? And it was not God's way. So sometimes in our lives, you know, our, we are from God. We are God's children. We want to save the uh, uh, others. But we scold them. <laughs> Condemn them. Kill them. You, you, you. You know, like that, like that. So what happened? He knew his origin, but Egypt's ways were all inside him. God had to take Egypt out of him. Egypt representing the world thinking, the world way, the world belief system, right? That we have accumulated from the day we're born into this world, from school, from teachers, parents, whatever. Okay? That is Egypt. In this planet, there's only two. Kingdom of God, and kingdom of the world or the devil, that's all. Go ahead, in between. Okay, you belong to God, you belong to God. All right, there's a devil there who's out to kill you, but Jesus saved you. And he has a destiny and a purpose for you. Okay, so first thing is choice. All right, Moses first need to know where he come from. He was born, he's an Israelite, he's a Jew, his identity. And then after that, he had to choose. Do I want to do God's will or not? For although he was raised as the son of Pharaoh's daughter, he refused to make that his identity. If you grew up, you're born from Joan and Robert, Marianne. And then, but somehow, they lost you. They put you in a basket. <laughs> Mary Ann, and then let you float in a river. And then, wow, one family, the royal family, saw you, Mary Ann, so cute, so chubby, so pretty. And then raised you up in the palace. But you know that your real parents are Robert Lowe and Joan. And your mom, mommy Joan also there helping to grow you, but cannot reveal your identity. You want to? Which identity are you now? They give you a name some more. Right? 
who named Moses? Yeah. Okay, because that means he got another identity as an Egyptian. But your choice as you grow up is do you want to carry the other identity or the real parent's identity? You understand? Jesus already gave you a new identity born again from above. Right? When you receive Jesus. In this world, you got another identity, right? Which is whatever your parents identify, tell you who you are, they define you, right? You are either a, a first by name, physical one. Okay, so if your parents are uh, cruel or you know bad temper, whatever, all the nature come down to you. So say, ah, oh, I'm like this because I come from my father. <laughs> I'm born from my father. He's uh, I know this. <laughs> no offense, eh? just joke. All right. So all the bad things about this become yours. Okay. So in this world, there are so many. The world identify you, and you adopt the identity. But your real identity now is your spirit man identity in Christ. Okay. But you need to know this identity more important than what you have grown up with in the world. Correct? You want to know who you are, your real parents. So our spiritual parents is no longer Adam. Adam with all the sin and you know all the fears, insecurity, uh, lack. Okay? But your new identity is in Christ. Health, healing, blessing, joy, peace, all is yours. Okay? That is what you mean by born again. You didn't accept a new religion. You didn't transform into a wear new clothes or what you have a new birth, new certificate of birth. Okay, then is born where from heaven, right? From the throne room of God. Jesus gave birth to you. God gave birth to you. That's why you call him Abba Father, Daddy God. Very strange, right? Ah, so you have a physical daddy and you have God as your daddy. So when God is your daddy, he takes all responsibility to take care of you. He will tell you he's from his word that you know his ident your identity. Okay, so you can choose. By faith, Marianne chose. <laughs> okay, to what? He refused to make the, although he was Pharaoh's daughter. Hey, very good, huh? Pharaoh's daughter, no, the king one in the physical world. He told one. He made a choice that I don't want the identity of Egypt, the pharaoh, the king of this, you know, in the world. Same is I don't want, I can choose, I don't want the identity of Adam. They all came from Adam. Okay. I have a new identity. He said, choosing, refuse to make. So your first choice after you born again, I don't want to be that identity anymore. Just like the first choice, you know, the choice that you all choose to come and learn God's word. Okay? It starts with your identity. I've been born again. So the teaching has to teach you your spirit man. Why? You're who you are in Christ, in your spirit, this is your new identity. No more the old than this. No more the old Robert Lowe. Okay? The old man. Now it's the new man. All right? And then, the devil will come. Hey, no lah. You will last time like that one. This is your identity. Your parents already told you who you are. Your teacher tell you hey, this is you. You're always bad tempered. You're always very lazy. You're all that old identity telling you. You cannot make it one now in life. Everyone wish you poor one now. You know? So that is identity from the world. How are you going to know your new identity if you don't know what God says is your new identity? Understand? So you, he chose, I don't want to have anything to do with this old identity, uh, this identity from the world anymore, Egyptian identity, world identity that tells you you're sick, you're no good, you know, uh, you've got this, that, that, that from generation, whatever, from Adam. No, so make that choice, it's not me anymore. Okay, and then choosing instead, so he made a new choice, I will now Right, instead to suffer mistreatment with the people of God, the new identity. I 
want to be with the brothers and sisters, with the family of God. I want to know who I am now in Christ. Okay? You have to make a break. Okay? Otherwise, you all confusion here. Okay? Moses preferred faith certainty above the momentary enjoyment of sin's pleasures. So it's not that the world don't give you anything. Sometimes the world offer you quite a lot of nice things. <laughs> okay? But you refuse. Right? You say, I don't want the wisdom of the world anymore. That identity, you know, where you, I'm flooded already enough, get it. I want now to know my complete identity as a new creation in Christ. Make a decision. So faith, believing God is real, have to make a choice, right? If you don't make that choice, you'll always be take one step. And then after that, forward, two steps backward. Go back to Egypt. Remember the Egyptians, the, uh, the, the Israelites, right? sometimes like that, right? They go out and then they just go Moses. Why you take us out suffering right here? They don't, I'll go back there, go garlic. Uh, okay? Because out there, they say no need to meditate and confess. <laughs> So, so easier, lah. no need to meditate in the best. And in the end, what? Never grow. Okay? So, the certainty of faith is based on God's word. They rather have God's word that is certain. Remember the word God say this. Whatever is tangible is temporary. Whatever you can see with your physical eyes and all that is temporary. Whatever you cannot see is eternal. So, God's word is eternal spirit. Which one you choose? You have to make that choice. Okay? You want the word of God, which you cannot see yet, but it is real. It can convert and manifest. God spoke things that what? Not yet happened, and it happened. Okay? So, not seeing is believing. Alright? Yeah. Okay. He found his true wealth. In suffering abuse for being anointed. Okay, this one is a little bit further up because he grew up already, right? So, what is your true wealth? Is it the riches of this world? But he said, even if I am being uh, some, you know, tortured, persecuted, all right, suffer, but not, you know, no more suffer sickness and lack and all that, because that has been redeemed by Jesus. The only suffering that today we have, we can still have in this world is persecution. Persecution means what, Marianne? People laugh at you because you tell them, I believe in Jesus. That's persecution. Okay? For your faith, for your belief in Jesus. All right? They laugh at you or they uh, joke on you. Or, or, you know, in a more serious way, they can even kill you. More than... And then you are um, you 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 are anointed. You are filled with the Holy Spirit. She, you know, just now on the way here. Uh, I don't know whether you all noticed in the car. There was one just nearing this place. There was one lady doing jogging, and uh, she was putting her. What's that? Yeah. And then she was doing funny funny thing like this. She couldn't care less. She over is laughing at that. She was talking to her, whatever she's hearing, right? Doing the dance or whatever on the road. So, <laughs> hey, let me see. She's thinking of Bali. <laughs> okay, so I saw this, you know, why are we ashamed of our anointing of the Holy Spirit, of speaking in tongues, you know? When we are out there, I'm not saying you go and blah it up, you know, without wisdom. But sometimes, you know, in the lift or whatever, they can do all the funny things. But why are we so scared of our God? You know, to tell them, you Jesus, is, if you don't understand your concept, I'm just speaking German. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, you know? So why are we so controlled by what people think? Why right? can you have been set free? This girl, you know, running, joking, don't really care. You take picture of her or what? She really looked really silly a bit, you know? Huh? <laughs> okay, then after that, you can say, so, Okay, they are 
anointing. Don't need to be ashamed of your anointing. Okay? So, more than and in anything the world could offer him, you don't, you don't see what is more important. What people think of him or can offer him the world, but who he is in God. Right? His wealth is in God. For his eyes look with wonder, not on the immediate, but on the ultimate. Okay? Without faith, many are just looking at immediate. No, now happen. Now, the blessing. I need this. That's it. But God said, spiritual things, eternal. See the ultimate. What's going to happen to you after you meditate every day? God's word. That is the ultimate. Right? Not today. It didn't happen. Huh? Nothing happened. I just, uh, you just add one grain of rice. You expect what to happen. <laughs> okay? All right. You see, faith God towards the reward. Right? Faith is coming to God, believing He exists, and He's a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. There is a reward that God has prepared, Jesus has prepared. Holding faith for me. <laughs> Holding face for me, Moses abandoned Egypt and had no fear of Pharaoh's rage because he persisted in faith. Okay, this one is a little bit donut already, okay? So uh, don't worry about it. You're still young. You may not fully wrap this, okay? <clears throat> Holding face for me, Moses abandoned Egypt. You can still make this decision, right? Abandon the means I don't want to look back already into the past. I don't want to look back into my former life, into what the world offered me. You know, it's abandoned, an abandoned house, like ghost house like that, right? There's nothing there already. So there's nothing there in the past for us to want to go back. But you have to make that decision. I don't want to go back. I want to move forward. Huh? Ah, what? Move into your new house. Empty house. Uh, empty house. So now you want to go forward, look forward into your new one, right? No, go back and think, oh, that one, okay? Abandoned, okay. So, that means empty already, okay? I don't want anything, I'll empty myself of the past already. I don't want the past to affect me anymore, okay? The past is what? The, the things that we learn from Egypt and the world, okay? For one, so that I can move into what God told him to do. No more fear. Even it comes to people scold you, you know. No fear of Pharaoh's age, but, uh, uh, rage, right? The devil will put thoughts about certain things. Sometimes it can be our success also. Not all, all the time, see it. But how you got it? The devil, you know, you did this, this, this. That's why you are so successful or, you know, Whatever it is, the past, and we'll show, I'll show you from the scripture. Why we have to make this very clear cut position, anything from the world, let it go. Because now we want to learn our new identity, our new heritage, how to walk in it. And Moses was what? He became a leader, right? God used him to lead others. Okay? So we just don't want to just be there. All right? Everyone here, God has a purpose to train you up to be able to save others. Okay? Not just save yourself. <laughs> There's a difference. Okay? Where discipling is very different from just preaching the gospel and then, okay, receive Jesus. How many hands receive the Lord? Okay. Well, that is good also, but Jesus' commission is what? Preach the gospel and make disciples of all nations. Right? So that everyone Right? You have a desire to go, but don't know how. Yeah? That's why God brought you here to be discipled, to be trained. And very fast, you will be able to help to go out and save others as well. Okay? So, he not scared of whatever lies or whatever threatened threats that he gets because he persisted in faith. Why? You can see the future based on God's word. As, he, as if he had seen God who is unseen. 
So some of your friends will say, hey, Adeline, you're very weird, huh? <laughs> I cannot see, huh? You know? You say, yeah, la, you, you, you're blind. <laughs> okay, you need to be born again. Ah, that's what Jesus said, right? To the Nicodemus. He said, Oh, truly, teacher, the kingdom of God, you know, then Jesus said, unless you be born of spirit and of water, you cannot see the kingdom of God, right? So then someone comes in, tell you, you know, I, I, I don't understand, you know, I can't see, uh, but I see something different in you, but are you talking to, who are you talking to? You, you need to be born again. Can I show you how? <laughs> so after that, you have someone to talk to all the time. The one who has, the world cannot see. The five senses cannot see, but you see. All right? Right, correct, Mary? You see Jesus. You tell them Jesus is real. They don't know, never mind. So you want to see Jesus? You don't want, never mind. Next week, I ask you again. <laughs> okay? By faith, Moses, when grown, refused the privileges of the Egyptian royal house. So there are few things that he has to choose. I don't want any more. I don't want the privileges. So the devil offer you from time to talk. The devil means that he doesn't appear with two points. Okay, today, right? It's in your thought life, right? Go back, you know, do that. Do that way. Huh? Uh, if the voices speak to you things that are not from God's word, then it's the devil behind it. Okay, so that's why you need to know what God speaks before you can know whether it's God or the devil. Okay, so all your part is to speak yourself with God's word. Right? Then you can differentiate. Okay? Say a different thing, right? So if one voice tells you, Marianne, you cannot be healed one. You're born with this sickness forever. Is that God's word? Ah, okay. So that one is uh, ex, uh, other help, okay? When your prayer comes, anointing comes, yes. On your own, beat yourself with God's word. So when this voice comes to you, you can tell it to get, get lost. Huh? Okay. The, not the truth. Ah. So you now know the truth already, right? The truth is not you are not sick going to be sick forever because you are not born from adam okay you are born from jesus you have new genes different genes healthy genes okay so as you meditate on that the manifestation of who you are in christ will manifest in your body amen he chose a hard life with god's people so it's the hard life is not a life of no money <laughs> okay all right okay so it's not that God's people got no food to eat, right? That that life is just uh, where you are no more living from the wisdom of the world, okay? And it can be persecuted rather than the optimistic soft life with the oppressors, okay? <clears throat> so, He valued suffering in the Messiah's hand far greater than the Egyptian wealth because he was looking ahead, anticipating the payoff. Okay, so faith always look ahead to the reward. Okay, so even like, like your, your daddy and mommy going to mission trip is a little bit uncomfortable for the physical body, but it's okay. Okay, you ready to go through it because you see. The souls that are going to be saved. Ah, later you also go. Marianne, all right? You go preach the gospel, save soul. Any country, God send you. Go. Amen? Amen. Yes. Why? Because you see, God's purpose and plan is greater. You know, whatever discomfort that we may have in this world cannot match with the payoff, I mean, you will be rewarded. Okay? By an act of faith, he turned his head, his heel on Egypt, indifferent to the king's blind rage. Okay? Egypt is the path, no more. Your heel, you turn already. You're going to walk this way from now onwards. That's a choice that we make. I have decided to follow Jesus. 
No turning back, no turning back. It's a decision. Faith is not an emotion. Faith is a decision. Okay? You decide first. God will give you the power and the strength to go along that way. Then okay? so you say, I feel, wait, I'll let's see first how I feel uh, at that time. No, I decide first. Okay, but you all decided already. I'm sure there can be hindrances to stop you. But because you made a decision, I'm going to come today. <laughs> Nothing can stop you. But if you are emotion type, you know, make, have a make decision and say, see first. <laughs> see first, don't rain or not. <laughs> right? So, God's people is like this. If your new identity, you make a decision. This is what I want. And then, God will give you the strength to go in that direction. Okay, you don't say, you, that's why the, the confession is what? When I say the spiritual words, the confessors are ruled by my words. You are led by the spirit, not by circumstance. Right? You wait first, see how, then only you make the decision. No. In Christ, we can make decision first with the spirit. Good decision made according to God's will. Then you will see God clear all the obstacles for you. That's the miraculous realm that we walk in. That's faith. That's faith. Right? Fear is wait till everything okay first. No more COVID in the world. Will it happen? <laughs> yeah, you wait until some my door. Okay? No. You go, you make a decision, and you just say, COVID virus cannot touch me. Correct? Ah, the, 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 the sea part for you. See, the children of Israel have to wait for Moses to part the sea. And then only walk through. Moses is the one who cut the sea. Which one you want to be? <laughs> Which shoe you want to wear? The children of Israel want the everything open for you, then only walk through. Or you want to be the man of faith? You cut the situation in your life. You speak to the situation and you see the water cut. You see the obstacle fall flat. You see the wall of Jericho fall down. Okay? Not the one of do everything you that I got to do. <laughs> What also very scared. <laughs> Look left, right? After the water door on me out, that is no faith, right? Yeah, but you, God raised you up, right? Disciples, apostles are not the one who lead the way. They open the way for the people, right? Throw away all the stones, open, make a path. Okay, the main one is already done by Jesus. Now he's raising up his children, men, sons, and daughters to raise up and get open the way for more people, right? Evelyn, open the way for more people. Yeah, don't wait for the way to be open. It's already open. Okay, build your faith and then you'll be able to lead others in. Okay, <clears throat> he had his eye on the one no eye can see and kept right on going. So, your eye, the one focus, the goal is on one person. Yeah, for us today, it's Jesus, right? God at that time. Right, Jehovah, who is also our God. Right? Now I, Mary Ann, on Jesus, on God, on the word of God. Okay, don't turn here. You know why? Don't have to look here. Right? <laughs> look back. Word, the words is look back. Okay. So don't look here, look there, look to anyone. Look to Jesus, which is the word. All right. And the Holy Spirit and Jehovah God. And then walk back. If you don't, if your eye is Straight, looking forward, you will go forward, right? right? If your eye look here, you will go backwards, isn't it? So, Moses, act of faith, he went forward. So, now, this all seem very similar to the world also, right? Uh, the world also tell you, go forward, right? But that's why we have to be very careful, all right? That if we totally don't want the world's way already. Because everything may sound good, because it's a knowledge of good and evil. Nothing wrong. They ask you to kill anyone. As you tell you to do good things, go forward, have a goal, set your goal, set your this one. Sounds really same, right? But in God's word, it's very clear cut. It's Egypt and it's God. Okay? We learn from God. Say bye bye to. Egypt <laughs> to the world. They okay, don't let anything in the world, even how similar it sounds, because if you go deeper, you will know that it's slightly out, and one slightly out can cause 
a lot of damage already. Okay, so keep right going on. Okay, so what is the focus? <laughs> well, I feel very smooth. Right? <laughs> okay. All right, by faith. Okay, wait now. This should be this year. The very, yeah. Go, so you're going to finish, all right. Philippians. Now we go to the title. What's your goal now? Even as a believer, okay, and a, a non believer or believer, the world tells you what? The, the goal is maybe um, make how many thousand be a successful millionaire or a million hair. <laughs> okay, whatever, be, 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 be someone successful, someone people look up to, and all that. That could be a goal. And then as a Christian, we also have we have one goal. So. Okay, I want my goal is 30,000 members in BFA. <laughs> okay, so we say, oh, nothing wrong, huh? See, we need to be very clear. What is our goal in this life? That one focus is not in what even may sound nothing wrong. Okay, is it? I have 1,000 uh, people in BFA. Sounds nothing wrong, right? But if, if I put my goal there, then I only concentrate on people coming in. How many, how many? So every time come, I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because that's my goal. But that's not my goal. It doesn't mean that God will not increase the people, right? But my, my goal is not there. Okay, because it's very dangerous to set this kind of goal. So we just need to. See, what is the goal that you, we all need to focus on? One eye, focus that one, and then go for it. Keep going towards that direction. The only direction. You have to do something, right? Refuse the Egypt, okay? The, the past, all right? All the wrong thinking, which may seem okay. The very creation. So now we go back to Apostle Paul, all right? All the new creation teaching great. It's not from any pastor, not from me. It's from the Bible, from Apostle Paul. Okay, so we go straight back into the Bible. The very credentials, these people are waving around. I put message, so it's quite interesting in this version. As something special, I'm tearing up and blow, throwing up from the trash, rubbish down. Here, Paul was explaining who he was, right? He was a, a lawyer, a Hebrew of Hebrews, okay? Who knows the law very well, the Jewish law, the Judaism. And he said, he obeyed all the law. He is blameless, all the commandments. Now, he said, after he know Jesus and God showed him grace, that's why we are learning, we learn grace and faith. He teach grace, he teach faith, okay? I'm carrying out everything that he learned. That means he got certificate on, <laughs> okay? In today's day, PhD, I don't know what other certificate we have, all right? But we learn from this world, uh, what certificate we have, okay? Uh, we learn piano, you got a certificate from piano, we learn medical certificate, if you're a doctor, profession, anything, right? You have something to show that you are an expert in that field. But it comes from Egypt. What Paul is saying that all that he learned or all that he attained, all that success, you know, the, the, the good things that he had done, he had achieved all his achievements based on his intelligence. Right, the school that he went to, whatever. What did he say? It is all the mindset that he got that caused him to be a Hebrew of Hebrews. That means what? The very outstanding one. Right? This man, Paul. Let me see him. <laughs> He's here in the Bible. <laughs> okay. If you meet him, right? Yeah, he talked until what? The, at midnight, and then the people dropped down. <laughs> you know the story, right? He preached very long while, okay, Paul? <laughs> Until the, the person dropped a person, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the this is the recipe, yeah. I think first past is the Bible says past midnight. Only. So, the fish long is okay, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just speaking about Paul, please. Okay, why? Because Paul is so full of the revelation of who, who God is that he needs to 
uh, put it into the people to realize they are people of destiny. They are men and women of God. They don't need to follow the world anymore. Their success comes from God. Their mindset comes from God. Yeah, from the word. So they teach non-stop, right? Okay, so next time you go to Cambodia, you can teach us this good night. Okay, so the, he said, all that I gained, the knowledge that I gained from the world, right? even, even in the Judaism context, as a Jew, what did he say? All right, that I used to take credit for. Okay, of course, you both see it, right? If you got to uh, study so hard uh, to become a doctor, you don't boast that you are, you know, I'm a doctor. So, nothing wrong, but it is still not the wisdom of God. Still not the righteousness of God, right? So, I used to take credit for it, he said. But now, no more. Now, he throw away and tear out all this, like, with the trash. You know, got rubbish, no? <laughs> got rubbish? Not every day. The rank got so rubbish, you know. Ah. Throw away all the wrong teaching, the wrong thinking. But you won't know it's wrong until you know what's right and what is not right. So that's why you need to meditate. Okay? If you find that something is no more in line with God's word, throw it with your rubbish. So when you throw rubbish out, next time think, what other rubbish inside my head I need to throw? <laughs> okay? Throw that out because it's not going to help you in your spirit. All right? To be the man or woman of God that God intended for you. Okay, we say throw up. Why? Because of Christ. New identity now. No more. The denies of the past. Okay, whether you succeed or fail, doesn't matter to God because in God's eyes, it's a new creation to Christ alone. Nothing else. No plus plus. Plus my medical knowledge, plus my engineering knowledge, plus my... No. It's just Christ alone. You believe in God. That is your... What God recognizes your righteousness in God will be largely in back, all right? Okay, because of Christ. Yes, all the things I once thought were so important are still in my life. <laughs> God, what are the things you think were still important? What I studied, ma, you know, the trophy. <laughs> you know, I ran home new half marathon, so we keep, okay? In the end, it's... <laughs> Can bring to heaven not? Ha! Not I. Right? It's not eternal. Okay, but we lay out treasure for eternity. Okay, which is the time you will see all your trophies there in heaven forever, forever. Day one, not yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Forever. Okay, the reward you have because we're eternal beings. Okay, so those things that I thought were important. Or you know, people talk important, tell me it's very important, so you also think it's very important. That is from Egypt, from the world. All the knowledge that I had, not to say the skill you throw away, right? It's okay if you have the skill, right? As in, like, Jesus is a carpenter, he knows how to uh, build uh, tables and chairs and all that. Okay, so that skill is important, but the mindset is very dangerous, okay? Because remember, the mindset is always, the Makano mind is always enemy against God. So don't trust any of it, even if it looks like God, right? Okay, so whatever we thought were important are now gone. Wow, this is, you have this, that's where you are heading. You know, Paul, very powerful, right? His handkerchief also can heal people. But what is in his mind, the past is totally gone. The, the, the things that he succeeded in this world through his ability, his wisdom, and what he gained from the university of uh, Judaism or wherever he studied, he said, all gone, like rubbish, compared to the high privilege of knowing who? Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. Not knowing religion, Christianity. No, knowing Christ Jesus. Woo! This is who we are to know. Jesus Christ. Yes. And this way, it's like he's here, you know, he's here, he's real. This is Jesus Christ that you receive, right? I'm not giving you religion, not entertaining you, right? But what Paul say, everything, why you give up? You always give up something for something better, right? So, what is the best thing that happened to you? Knowing Jesus Christ, don't stop there, go on from there, okay? After you know Jesus, know the ways of God. Like what Moses said, like what Paul said, right? Then in order to get 
everything that's from the new, let go of everything from the past. Okay? Right. He said the privilege, the high privilege. Do you realize we are all very privileged here? It's like, hey, you know Agonga. <laughs> you feel, oh, you know, you know someone very big shot. So anything you want, go to Robert. No, he knows how to pull the string. Right? Because it's connected to the Prime Minister or the King. We are connected to the King of Kings. You want to pull string for others? Can. <laughs> you just tell no. You know, just help this person. Oh, I got answered because you act in faith. You know, one of the quotes is that if God will turn, we will, uh, you know, pass one million people and go to you when you pray in faith. Ah, there's something that God is very excited about. Faith. Believing in Him rather than in the world or even in yourself. You stop believing in ourselves. You start believing in Jesus Christ. See, I think Paul also talked about that one. Right? Because if somebody if you're very excited, right? If you really know the album, <laughs> you don't say, I know album. <laughs> I know him. Uh. You all want any string to pull? Come. Right? So I know Jesus Christ. Okay? Know his word. Knowing him today is not just, as I said, a picture of somebody, right? It's him, his word inside us. And of course, one day we will see him in heaven, right? So the, the, know, the knowing Jesus Christ as what? Not as a teacher, right? As my master. So wonderful to serve him, right? To wait on him, to learn from him, to do what he tells us to do. Because he's not the Egyptian pharaoh who wants to torture you, right? He wants to. Our master, that's why we call him, I said, Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Lord means master. Master, that means what? He owns you. Right? A slave has a master, right? Today, we don't call our boss master. He won't own us. So, sometimes you say certain things, he won't do also. Because you don't own me, huh? okay, I only do like that. But the master to the slave, he bought you, he owned you. Jesus paid the price for you with his blood. Okay? You actually belong to him. But he don't force it on us. Right? He gave us the free choice. Do you want to really treat him as our master? Listen to what he said, do what he said. Because at the end, his desire for us is to bless us. Right? Ah, not to use you for, a, you know, the world use you, right, to, to, to attain their goal or whatever. But not God like that. God wants to bless us. That's why Jesus died. I mean, he bought you. You belong to him, okay? The best person you ever want to belong to. You don't want to belong to the devil. Okay. And he said what? As my master first hand, everything I once thought I had going for me is insignificant. Nothing to boast about, you know, your, your child life, your past success, whatever. Yeah, so he realized that now what is the most well, if I stand up, then they all cannot see me. <laughs> That's why I promised Elsa I have to sit down. Okay? If not, they cannot see me. <laughs> what is the most exciting person in your life now? It's not your husband, but okay. <laughs> it's okay. No, don't, don't divorce your husband. Okay? But right, the most exciting person in your life is Jesus Christ. It's becoming real to you. He's so good to you, right? It's just that, are we putting his word inside or not? Because we still got a lot of Egypt inside, a lot of wrong thinking inside, right? That's why we cannot get the fullness, <coughs> okay? Of what he has for us. He's your husband. Even the Bible say that. Your maker is your husband. Husband is one who, ah, we got one here. Take care of the children, take care of the family, right? So God promised to take care of us. You are married to him. Come on, he's waiting. Marry supper of the Lamb to celebrate when we leave this world, right? He, no, he can, uh, no human husband can be as good as wonderful as Jesus. So don't put your eyes on just and you love them. <laughs> but they are not your master in every area. Yes, okay, don't uh, submit to you, right? But in areas of the Lord, we cannot, okay? So, and then you want to provide for your family? 
God will help you provide. You know, He provides for you, for you to provide for your family. He's also your husband because in, in spiritual, there's no male, no female. <laughs> okay? The meaning of husband is not the, 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 earth, the earth way we think, okay? but it is the provider, the strength in your life, the one who wants to take care of all your needs. Right? That is the husband, the meaning. Okay? So, what he said, all these things that I once uh, thought was important. Oh, you say, how can you say my certificate not important? <laughs> yeah, the tsunami come, the certificate will disappear. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, he said, but Paul got this revelation 14 years, you know, and then he said, oh, I count as what? Dog dung. Ah. <laughs> that means what? Shit. Ah. <laughs> okay, have you seen it already? All these things that we gained with God. You know, that's why you know, I lost my certificate uh, uh, you know, through, through the, uh, my journey in life, all the things. I lost that, uh, the credential or in a piece of paper. So, uh, you know, I can be, I can I have uh, what reverend and all that in the piece of paper. She, 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 don't know where it is. But I know it's not in the piece of paper. Okay? It's in Paul, the real person. Okay? So God, did Paul realize that? It's like, how down, it's shit. How can you call my qualification a shit? <laughs> <laughs> I study so many so years. Huh? Oh, millions already. All oh, my experience, you know, oh, wow, my knowledge here that caused me to be a millionaire, billionaire. The Bible calls it a shit. <laughs> 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 no, I say, right? COVID, the Bible, different version, all say the same thing. <laughs> okay. I dumped it all in the trash in order to do what? So that I can embrace Christ and be embraced by Him. Because all this SHIT cannot bring you to heaven. Yeah? And also give you a lot of problems on this earth. <laughs> okay. Who is the one who can save you completely? Jesus Christ. He is the one who will never fail you, who gave his life for you. Your professor didn't die for you. Okay, right? Jesus Christ died for you. That's how valuable you are, right? To him, so precious that he will pay to buy you with his life, with his blood. Your husband, maybe, but maybe not. <laughs> Don't go ask them. <laughs> okay, but Jesus Christ, he never thinks twice. You know, it's very worth dying for, right? You didn't think so long. Right? Yes, this is a precious soul. Okay. To have given a new life. So I dump it all in the trash. Remember, uh, Marianne, next time you throw rubbish, remember everything in the past, also throw inside that the rubbish so that I can embrace him and be embraced by him. Because you cannot, you know, God wants to bless us, but inside here, feel of 50%, God 50% this, you know, he cannot fully. Bless you. You know, that's his, his desire and his heart and his purpose. I don't want, I didn't want some petty inferior brand of righteousness that comes from keeping a list of rules when I get when I could get the robust kind that comes from the trusting God's righteousness. See, our own righteousness, self-effort, people say in the world, yes, you go for this goal. Yeah, but you have to do it. Huh? You have to do so many things. <laughs> you have to be smarter than the other one. You have to, you know, study harder. You have to, you know, believe in yourself, blah, 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 blah. There's a self-righteousness. And when these people did it, they said, I can do what you cannot do. What? Jesus never said that. Like, I can do what you cannot do. He said what? You can do all things through me to strengthen you. That's the difference. He will give you the supernatural strength to do. He will give you the supernatural favor to attract favor into your life, blessing into your life, finances into life, boss favor. Who oh, shared something? Huh? 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 Yeah. Yes, Sorry. yes. To Christ, I can do all things, or I can do all things to Christ. But the world say, I can do, you follow me. No. Right? You follow Christ. Right? When you have his word inside you, 
you will be able to do all things. Very similar, but it's not the same. Okay, one take leather, the other one take <laughs> take leave, right? Zoop, you're there already. Okay, so take leave, huh? don't climb the staircase. <clears throat> leather, huh? Okay, huh? Yeah, to Christ. Yeah, to strengthen me, to give you the supernatural dunamis. That means miracle strength, miracle power. Ah, where am I now? Okay, so. The one, the self righteousness, which is you have to do this, have to do that. All we need to do is eat. That one is not a law. <laughs> Eating is not a law, all right? Eating is what we need. That's all. The spirit man to grow, okay? So I don't want the self righteousness anymore. The brand, you don't want certain brand, right? Made in China. <laughs> you want made in? Okay, nothing wrong with China. Okay, made in heaven, right? That means from the word of God. Right? That's what we want to have. His righteousness. He wants to give you, that is, a new life, a good life. Okay? But you have to throw away Egypt first. Where we just trust him, just believe him. But what is that? His word, right? We believe his word. <clears throat> God's righteousness. He made you right. Okay. To help you to see this verse clearly, I gave up all the inferior stuff. Okay, so can you see everything you got from this world, whatever is a, a mental knowledge, whatever knowledge, whatever profession, I'm not say throw away, don't become a doctor anymore. No, okay, the, the, the mindset of success, throw away, is from the world. I gave up the inferior, it's inferior now. Remember, Paul is a big time fellow, okay? So I could do what? Know Christ personally, not know Christ to go below, Stephanie Mong, right? You know Christ personally. Madeline, God wants to reveal himself to you personally. Hmm? Amen. Yes. Okay. Experience what? So first you know a person. How do you know a person? You don't spend time with a person, you know the person. <laughs> Very amazing, right? You can know a person through YouTube. No, you still don't know. You just know about. Right? But to really know the person, you talk to the person. Right, you know more and more. You hear his words. Okay. Experience his resurrection power. So you want to experience? Ah, so God is not just knowledge. You can experience it. You can experience what? Resurrection power. What is that? Supernatural health, healing, provision, blessing. I like your sister Janice like that, huh? <laughs> Right? Yeah, supernatural blessing. Ooh. Okay, angel, God sent angel down because she's so far away. She cannot do her work yet. God will give her uh, some work to do eventually. You know, business or what. But now, she's not yet, not just settled. So God had to send angel to pray for her first. Supernatural, right? <clears throat> Experience his resurrection power. Where paralyzed can still get up and walk. Okay? Be a partner in his suffering. Uh, this one a lot of people don't want. <laughs> <laughs> so we confess, confess, and then don't want this part. No. Take it together, okay? Because even when we suffer for Christ, you are blessed, and there's a reward, right? Jesus said there is a specific reward for when we suffer with him. Okay, not suffer sickness, not suffer lack, okay? Suffer persecution. Okay, go all the way. Halfway, quarter way, all the way, yeah? All the way, all in, right? The word uh, put there is a gambling. You put all in. No, here, the one not sure one is a risk. After <laughs> you know, all in, you lose all everything. Okay, here, God's promise is a certain one. You will never lose anything anymore because God has already won everything for you. You are a winner in Christ Jesus. That's what His word say, right? So go all the way with Him, even unto physical death. Don't be scared of physical death, right? It's just change of address. Pastor, but don't simply jump down the window. Right? <laughs> don't die ahead of your time. Okay? God has a purpose and destiny for you. All right? This is the next coming uh, Holy, Spirit, Holy Spirit power piece. The Holy Spirit gave me already the team for that. Um, this special piece. Oh, it's very, very powerful. Okay? Go all the way and then don't worry about the physical part. If there was any way to get in on the resurrection from the dead, I wanted to do it.
I'm not saying that I have all this together. Oh, Paul, you know, it's here. We are reading his words. He's preaching to us, okay? <clears throat> then you think that he knows everything already. Of course, he's better than all the other preachers in this world. This universe this world, all. Yeah, he's surpassed, right? Because they all learn from him, right? But what he said? He said that it's not that I have it all already. Can you still say like that? <laughs> then we all think, what, believers? Three years, I think I know already. <laughs> <laughs> Paul wrote the Bible. Some more still say, I haven't got it all. See, this is what grace does to us. The more you know God, it's like the less you really know Him. Because He surpasses our understanding. You think it's love, He will show you that what is love. You know? So, so exceeding beyond what we think. But I am well on my way. So I haven't got it, but I'm on my way. Most important, you're on your way to the right track. Right? <laughs> on the right track. Don't go on your way to the way. Okay? On your way to what? Reaching out for Christ. Remember Christ, okay? <clears throat> Who has so wondrously reached out to me. Jesus is the one who reached out to all of us. He reached out to you when you don't know him. He found you, not you found him. Okay? When you see his, how wonderful he is. Friends, don't get me wrong. By no means uh, do I count myself an expert in all this. To, to us, you think, wow, Paul, you're the expert. He, he said he's not. <laughs> what a humble man. Right? From PhD, where you can find PhD humble today. <laughs> they all, mm, <laughs> professor. Mm. <laughs> right? They think they know a lot. Lawyer, even worse. Okay? So, huh? Huh? Wondrously. Huh? Wondrously. Beautifully. Wondrous, wondrously. Oh, wondrously. Okay, wonder, wonder. Yeah. Wonderfully, beautifully. Okay? So, what a wonderful man, right? The most humble man, like Moses. Don't get me wrong. Okay? But he said this thing. By no means I count myself an expert in all of this. But I've got my eye on the goal, right? The key in Paul's life is that his eye was fixed on the goal. Where God is beckoning us onward to? Jesus. Ah, Jesus. Don't have the goal on anything else. 10,000 people in church, uh, 100 souls. This is not our goal. We will head towards there, right? Our goal is to know him, to know Jesus. And how do we know him? From his word. Okay? Go to his word. Go to learn Holy Spirit, how to hear from him. Know about the heart of the Father. Why did he die for you? Don't just listen to other people. If I share with you something, go back and check. Is it from the word of God? If it is not, throw it out. Yeah? Because you don't want man's opinion, not even a preacher's opinion. Preacher can have their own opinion if they don't, not Bible based, or God's word based, or grace based. Of faith based, yeah. So the ultimate goal is what now? Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, he's the one who will never fail you. Is it Pastor Stephanie will never leave you nor forsake you? <laughs> okay, it is what Jesus. He said he will never leave you nor forsake you. I can go with you up to a certain point, right? It cannot be twenty four hours with you, although I may want to, right? But who is the one who died for you? Not me. Not Pastor Stephanie. I didn't die for you. Okay. Jesus Christ died for you. Go to Him. Let that be your goal, your ultimate goal in life. That I may know Him, the power of His resurrection, partake the fellowship of His suffering. This is our ultimate, the only goal in our life after we come to know Jesus. And we will never go wrong. Right? And the word of God, the lamp to your feet and the light to your path. So be all and running. And I'm not turning back. Nah, run. Right? Joan can run very well, right? Put on your running shoes. <laughs> what? Don't share revelation. That's the running shoes. I'm off and running. I'm not turning back. So when you run forward, your, your goal is clear. To know him. No, not sentimental. Feel good. No. To know him, know his will, know his desire, know his way, know his thoughts. All right? And that is what 
the soil that is put down. Right? You see the word you hear today, excited. I want Jesus. Tomorrow you may not want Jesus anymore. <laughs> okay? If you don't continue putting in and listening, tomorrow all the world's problems come on you. You forgot Jesus is there also. Okay? So how? To keep our walk running is every day have that listening keep on meditating keep on reading the word of God right not turning back okay. so keep focus on that goal all right for us the born again we only got one goal those of us who want everything God for, has for us you want everything God has for you yes amen that means that's a good choice good decision all right because only he will never harm you only he will never hurt you. Only he will never trick you. Only Jesus Christ loves you to the end. They think for, you know, he's like, come to build a mansion for you, prepare a mansion. On this earth, I give you whatever you need. You will never lack. As the promises of God, health, I've already died on the cross, taken your sickness. Okay? All you need to know is know me. Know what I came to do. Know who I am. Talk to me. <laughs> Don't talk to. <laughs> Don't have conversation with the serpent. <laughs> Okay, talk to me. I have the best for you, Evelyn. You know, the purpose and plans of God are for your good, right? So, Jeremiah 21 11. Okay, to set the goal to know Him, know Jesus. And then, if you want everything for Him, see, He don't even score us if you want a blessing. So good, right? But people, you know, tell you, oh, oh, God, you want blessing? Uh, no, no, you know, that I just have suffering here maybe. That's also wrong. That's also not God's teaching. Okay, so we want everything that God has for us, including suffering. <laughs> but the uh, suffering with joy. He promised you, even when you go through persecution, you will have joy of the Lord. If any of you have something else in mind, something less than the total commitment, God will clearly, uh, God will clear your blood vision. You see, He will see, you will see, right? Now that you are on the right track, stay on it. One and only right track is the track which leads you to the goal of knowing Jesus Christ, doing His will, serving Him. All right? Yeah. There's no other track to run. The world behind you, the cross before you. Jesus Christ. You live for Him. For me to live is Christ. Then what happened? To die is gain. Okay? When you leave this world, whoa! Mention of evidence so big. <laughs> you all want to be it. Every one of you, right? The reward, what? Crown after crown. Eternal. Here, for a while, need the trophy. <laughs> after that, chief house is all lost. Some. <laughs> okay? So, we are in the eternity. Eternal life. Jesus, for God so loved the world that whoever believes in him will never die, but have. Eternal life is eternal forever. Eternal good life or bad life, a good life, abundant life, a joy life, right? And then the one that store up treasure in heaven, not on this earth where moss and rust will destroy. Amen. Okay, I think that's it. So stay on this track, right? Keep your heart, your soil, good soil, and then remember today you want Jesus tomorrow, what you say you will deny him. Up. But you probably forget him. <laughs> okay, so just tomorrow eat also. Okay, morning either you listen again if it's already uh, recorded or not. Do your meditation right? about the love of Jesus. About, you know whatever. All the promises are all promises. You want everything that He has for you. You need to know what He has for you, right? Correct. So my sister will help you. <laughs> okay, and that is your daily eat. Okay. I, as I said, I can go on and on for everyone. So I have to stop. <laughs> yeah, because there's so much of God's goodness, Jesus Christ. Right? He's done so many wonderful things for us. Okay. Okay, now ministering. Amen. Okay. You all good soil? Yes. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Understand? Okay, not very understand what will happen. Uh, yeah, if not very really understand, if you're not very really understand, then the birds try and eat up. Then no more already. Next year, I see what you learn. Okay, if not very really understand, okay, here and here until you understand. Okay, that this is your goal. Right? 
So tomorrow the world will tell you another goal <laughs> in life. And then you forgot this already. It is so easy, right? But to take Egypt out of you, out of us, is not that simple. Take some time, right? Put Egypt inside very easy. <laughs> okay. 